on the last episode of Tank Grid falling through the floor. <laughs> last time we met, y'all had uh, opted to help out Nora, the Duchess of Sudan. Uh, you went, uh, she convinced you to go follow Ed the Lesser as he met with mysterious parties uh, in an attempt to try to figure out who he was meeting with to bring him and his co-conspirators to justice. Uh, Ed led you to a building, uh, which when you entered, uh, had a bunch of dead people. Uh, you guys fought your way through the dead people, blasting holes in the floor, falling into ghosts, uh, getting touched. It was kind of like a that moment where you're molding the, the vase out of clay. It was kind of like that, but a lot less pleasant. More head goo. Much more goo, yes. Uh, you captured uh, and killed and brought back and killed and brought back and killed and brought back a, <laughs> uh, a shapeshifter of some sort in a very obvious means of, a, let's say, in enhanced interrogation. Uh, and discovered that the plot to overthrow Duke Udek and possibly assassinate him was to go on tonight. It had been moved up. Uh, you found some armor that and some tunics that matched those that the castle staff wear, and donned them and ran off to the front gate of the castle, which is where we are now. As you approach the gate, uh, a light rain starts to pitter-patter from the, from the sky, and you see an enhanced number of guards, two to three times what you normally see outside the gate, and several uh, actually walk around the parapets on the walls. Oh, Lord. I don't know what to do, but we're ready. What are we going to do? <laughs> I mean, the guards know me. Fuck it. Let's just walk right in. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Well, aren't we all dressed up, too? Yes. Okay. Ooh, look at that somber music. I feel like we're gonna all die now. Um, yeah, right. we're, we're dressed up, so, I mean, we can, we can try and enter here. Walk right in. Um, walk oh, right you know what? Let me see. Do I have your passive perceptions written down? Mine Sorry, I have too many down. notes. Um, mine is 14. All right, give me just a second. Those are my notes for the other campaign. Yes, sir. Sorry, no matter how much I do digital stuff, I'm still Mr. Analog at heart. It's okay, we all are. We just refuse to admit. Charlene, what was your passive perception? One three. One three. Aang. Uh, Eleven. Tankred. Eleven. And Chrono. Fourteen. All right, Chrono. Hey. That's me. You just muted Sorry, yourself. I, I muted myself. <laughs> uh, you happen to notice that the insignia that the guards are wearing is slightly different than the insignia that they used to wear. Instead of having a green um, uh, shield uh, on the insignia, it's blue. Wait a second. I didn't have my pen. Can you please repeat that? Yeah, the insignia that the guards are wearing, uh, instead of having a green shield as the base, is now blue. And your armor all have green shields. It's blue, ours have green. Anyone have a crayon? Uh, uh, do we have any marines? <laughs> does anyone have a like artisan's kit or um, a costume kit? Or anything? I have a blue bandana on. Um, All right, crit. Well, before we go in, uh, Jarlene, can you take your bandana off and we can soak it in uh, some oil and see if we can discolorate and alter these shields to match? I had to think for like three years. You, you could be dead in five minutes, though. We can get some of it. Okay. Um, let me see what I have in terms of items here. Uh, what what race was old Greg? <laughs> oh, that's a flashback. He was human-ish. So he wouldn't. Would his blood have turned blue by now? No. Oh. No. Would have coagulated and become flaky and dry. Does blue, does blue turn blue? Or, or does blood turn blue? It, it could. 
So if it's deoxygenated, then it is kind of a bluish, purplish color. We're in a pretty oxygen-rich environment. What, what, well, it's it's exposed to oxygen right yeah. now, so hemoglobin are gonna be bound to oxygen regardless. What what about Steve? What was Steve? Was he human? <laughs> he had red blood. Damn it! Please <laughs> take it off. What about the mouse's blood? Was the mouse's blood red? Oh God! Oh, did, did anybody collect some of his blood? Yes. I'm gonna say it was black. Damn it. Okay. How about a zombie well... one? Nice to that too. <laughs> you haven't encountered anything that had blue blood. Damn what it. color is the ectoplasm? Green <laughs> and black. Wait. Wait. So if we have green, we need something that's yellow. Aren't the shields already? Green plus yellow does not make blue. Green minus yellow makes yes. blue. Yes. We gotta get the yellow out of this green real quick. <laughs> <laughs> and you're here the <laughs> chemistry. Um, wow, it'd be really helpful if we had a wizard in the party. <laughs> it would be, but we don't. Uh, use your psychic, psychic stuff. Uh, it doesn't really have that capability to do something like that. We can just... We can attack them and take theirs. Um, can... Uh, okay, so this is what I think we should do. We should, um... Just muddy up what we have on. Uh, like, we can use these two heads and just kind of scout ourselves in blood. And uh, we can say that we just okay. got finished, yeah, with, like, an attack. Uh, it's, our armor is all messed up. Uh... And we need to, you know, make our way in to get it cleaned with these two servants. And then pray to Christ that he don't care. Or I guess, we, sorry, pray to ambush? Bahamut. Should we say we got ambushed and like, have him, like, over there? Like, go quick over there. Uh, I think we want to keep everything where it is. We just want to try and get in. Did the Dukes, uh, sorry, the, the Viscounts guards have a way in? We had their, a bunch of their daggers now. Miss them up, so. Yeah, we have six of their daggers. Well, can we flash a symbol? Like, would they... Did these guys work with the castle guards at all? Are you asking me or someone else? I was asking Chrono, or Angry, or Tangry. Uh, all the dead uh, people are the good guys, and the guards are the bad guys. It seems like maybe... Uh, so what I don't know is if... Maybe the the guards that were here before. Wow, that's a lot of sweat. Um, if the guards <laughs> who were here before were the ones that had um, green, and now these infiltrators have blue, or vice versa, because either way, someone's gonna know that we're different unless we can kind of get through. What is the lizard's blood color? Yeah, what's the blood color of a dragonborn? That is a great question. I feel like it should be blue. He's also an ice dragonborn. Give me your blood, brother. I think he's a silver, though. Silver. Shit. I'm trying to see if there's an official ruling on that. <laughs> Give me your blood, brother. There's nothing official. All right, let me roll on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of dice. I'm just pulling a lot. I don't have them out yet. Is it 100? It is purple. Ah, oh, shit. We can work with purple, I think. Purple and green. Oh, that was a good thought. That was a really good thought. Purple and green makes brown? <laughs> I, I say we just cover it in blood and we say that we got out of, a, uh, you know, a combat and our armor's messed up and we have the two servants to help repair it. Or Bloody fix it. it up. I think it's great. All right, I take out old Greg and Steve's head and I just wipe them over the armor suits. Where? Where are you keeping those heads? In my backpack. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm going to rub my dog on myself too then. What's that? I'm going to rub, rub the dog put on myself too then you get nice and bloody. Okay. Anybody else blooding up? Oh yeah, I, I saw all the eating. Ten credits. Chairs of blood of head. Well, because who, who's in armor and who's in servant's gown? Um, I think you and Jarlene. Are the no you and Tankred are the ones in armor? I think. You're the only tiny one. Well, it's not that I'm tiny; it's that I'm normal shaped. Tiny one. <laughs> normal. Shaped. I'm not a fucking dragon. 
a half orc or a goddamn turtle. So, which makes you abnormal, but not fitting with the norm. I'm the norm. You three are the abnorm. Not in this party, you aren't. Fuck well, you, sir. Do you really know the demographic of Sudnol? Maybe. <laughs> I know that there's some gnomes. Either way, um, the people who have the armor on <coughs> bloodied it up, uh, and now we're gonna have to try and do deception to get through. I say put um, we put Aang and servants gowns because also he doesn't do armor because he's a monk. Yeah, it's unarmored defense. Sure, yeah. I I I will wear the armor, but I'm gonna be encumbered. So if we get in combat, we're fucked. You can wear servants gowns and or and tanker. You can wear armor, I guess. And Jarlene will just go as is. Jarlene yeah. Jarlene's wearing it. servant's clothing as well. That was a large turtle. Tightly fitting servant's clothing. Okay, whatever. So, me and Tankard are in armor, angry and Jarlene and servants. Cool. Um, I guess that's what we did last time, and we just don't remember. Um, <laughs> so, we bloodied it up, made it look all uh, fucked up intentionally. Time to try and go through the guards. All right, as you approach, uh, you were called to a heart, or to a halt. My heart! Hurt. <laughs> Heart! Stop, in the name of love. No, um, they call you to a halt. Uh, okay, what are you, what are you saying? Ah, oh, hey, hey guys, we're just, we need to go get this cleaned up. We just got done with uh, kind of a scuffle in the streets. Uh, our armor's all screwed up. These servants are going to help out. Hmm. Well, that's a mighty interesting boot you have there. Yeah, someone stole it while we were fighting, and I also lost a cape, someone took a shield, and I seem to be losing a necklace. But then again, I'm glad I made it out alive, as you can tell, I'm quite covered in goo. I, I don't think you understand. That's a, a nice boot you're wearing. Do you want my boot? <laughs> they don't know the challenge. A boot what? And uh, the guards on the parapet draw bows and level them on you. Who are you? And what are you trying to do tonight? I didn't give the challenge to the servants. I was a simple servant. Here, wait, hold on a second. Uh, I go into my mind maze. <laughs> <laughs> Your mind maze. Yes. Whatever the fuck that sanctum is that uh, his weird his weirdness uses. I don't remember seeing anything about a boot. No, you don't remember seeing anything about a boot. Whisper in their head. <laughs> yep, I guess I'm going to roll for psychic whispers. <laughs> and I'll see if you'll notice. Um, I don't think we're going to get out of this one, though. Um, so let's see how many... I have the, Right now it's a 1d5 because I haven't rolled a 5 yet on it. Slash d5. Let's see if you can get the password. He's okay. probably thinking, like, password, password, password. And, okay, so I can connect to four different people. Um, okay. How many guards are in front of me, and then how many are on the precipice that I can see? There are four on the at the actual gate, and there are a total of eight on the walls. Okay, I'll connect to all four in front of me, and I'll just... I'm not thinking anything, I'm just free me. <laughs> just blah. It's like, whose line is it anyways, improv style. And... I just look at them, I'm like, do you know the actual challenge? You hear the one that was speaking to you think, the challenge is boot, dumbass. And the other <laughs> ones are going, oh man, who are they? I'm worried. I'm concerned. This is supposed to be the night. What's going on? They're not supposed to, no one's supposed to know. Well, look, man, the challenge is clearly the boot. And you know, tonight's a big night. So if we can get on with our night, we can, you know, do what we're supposed to do tonight. I don't, oh, why do they hire such idiots? I give you the challenge, you give me the response. The challenge was boot. And uh. as I'm sitting there, I'm listening to see if there's anything going on. <laughs> um, <laughs> you hear him think, just tell me, Belt, you freaking idiot. Belt! They took my belt, so I, I was, sorry, I was a little foregoing of it. I sever my connection at that point. Mm. Well, you know the password. Maybe we can let you in. Gentlemen, go ahead and uh, escort these gentlemen to the captain. 
and they open the gate, and as they come up, they, uh, they see that the... Well, hold on, we'll see if they actually see. <laughs> Do they no, notice the turtle? <laughs> no. No. Yes, one of them notices that the shields are a different color. And I say, did, did you not get the new armor? No, they ran out, so that's why we're here, to get cleaned up and also get the appropriate equipment that we need for tonight's uh, taskings, if you will. There was... Do I know you? He starts looking at you guys and looks at Jarlene. I, you guys are so vaguely familiar. No, I have a familiar face, but who hired you on? That's my chief. That would be uh, Ed. Ed hired us on. Ed? Ed yeah. hired you? Ed hired us. And right yeah. then, everyone levels their weapons at you. Oh fuck! <laughs> Roll initiative. Oh, God damn it. But we're inside the gate area now, right? So, I will actually pull open what it looks like for you guys. Uh, let me find. I'm only asking because if the archers aren't aiming at us, this makes it a lot easier. Right. So there is. I don't want to actually pull you guys to the map, so it'll ruin things. There is a a 30 foot kind of causeway underneath a guard station. So it's like this uh, tower that has a bridge through it. And you guys are in that between two portcullises. The portcullis behind you is open. The portcullis in front of you is down. Fun. <clears throat> uh -huh. so. Look at Jordan rolled a twenty. No one can see it. Oh. Well, I rolled a seventeen actually. There we go. Whatever you can have that. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Chrono, you would be first. You have four guards flanking you, and you know there are guards above you. Hmm. And the portcullis in front of you is down. Mm. Whose side are they on? Oh, okay, so you're looking mainly kind Yeah. Of this is confusing. Isn't it? I'm going to... You know what? No, I don't know. This doesn't make any sense. Want to whisper some more? No, that won't really do anything. Uh, I'm trying to think. <clears throat> well, oh, yeah. you'll have to do that on your turn. Um, will speaking to them be uh, considered an action? Depends on how long you talk. If it's short, it'll just be your interaction. Okay. If um, it's long, you can take an action. So interaction-wise, I'd say, we're here to speak with Nora. We need to see her now. It's in everyone's best interest. Does anything happen? <clears throat> they glare and take a menacing step forward. Okay, I'm going to psychic shank one of them in the fucking head, and then I'm going to secondhand offhand <laughs> that. Uh, okay. Rolled in. All right. Uh, let's see here. How do I do this on this one? Boop. Obviously, I was hoping you guys wouldn't get into this, which is why you don't have a map. So. <laughs> well, me too, but evidently we're just fucking yeah. dumb. Uh, 14. That hits. Okay, and then I'll, I'll do the damage too. I'll do my follow up off <laughs> one. All right, that's doing something funky. Why made a deck say? Or it's just pulling the four. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. yeah, it looks like it worked either way. Uh, so you end up killing one of the guards. <laughs> oh. Oh God damn it, Kuno. Well, what the fuck am I supposed to do? All right. Not uh, kill. <laughs> All right, that brings us to Aang. Um, Aang's going to yell, whose side are you on, and try to grapple the guard closest to him. So, All right. strength check? Strength check. Oof, that's pretty high. Is it? It hasn't showed up for me yet. No, mine, not yours. I haven't oh. seen yours. Don't mind my random rolls. I'm checking. I rolled a twenty-four, so we'll see. Okay, mine just may. I may have just rolled four of them. Yeah, that's all right. <clears throat> so, you failed to grapple them, because uh, I see three saves, all of them under twenty-four. So yeah. <laughs> uh, he he uh, dodges aside nimbly and kind of pushes you away, and says, "We're on her side," and draws his sword as well. The master. It was her. <laughs> Tancred. By the way, um, hold on. what was the what was the the queen's name or the the duke wife name? The Nora. duke's wife name is Nora. Her. 
Alright, well then, this is it. Here, here goes nothing. <laughs> I get to scream Nora really loud. Alright, <laughs> no. right, so I'm gonna take off my helmet, which did nothing, and gonna scream at all guards. Hold the bloodshed! We are here to save Nora! To save Nora? Is that what you said to save Nora? Yeah, he said that. <laughs> she doesn't need saving, you fool! Alright, was that considered action or like just. No, it wasn't your action. That was just. Call that an interaction. Alright, time to smack at the nearest guard then. <laughs> That's a hit. Smacked him good. <laughs> All right, something's wrong with it. It's not showing up. Okay. It's uh, yeah, yeah it, it just it, takes a second. Yeah, it has some latency. <laughs> All right, uh, you smack him with your your mace, right? You're using a mace. Yep. Smack him with your mace, causing him to uh, kind of fly back against the wall a little bit and huff. But uh, it, he he looks hurt, but not too badly. Brothers, they're not on her side. <laughs> Think you figure that one out. Thanks, though. <laughs> Charlene. Uh, are they not getting around? Okay. What's that? They're they not getting four. around? I got a four. Don't worry. I, I, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, we're fucking up somehow. Uh, and there's archers above us, right? No, so you guys are currently shielded from the archers because you guys are un in the tunnel. Okay. How many guards are left in the room? There are three more guards between you and the way out. And there's a portcullis in front of you guys. You can see a courtyard through it. Okay. Thinking oh, what the fuck? Rats. <laughs> Summon pudding. <laughs> I was um, pudding on, on at least one of the guards, if not two. There are two standing close enough. You can get them both. Uh, the pair obviously will be able to do. Uh, D20. It says it's rolling. Yeah. It wasn't this slow when I was using it before. There must be a lot of people on roll 20 right now. Oh, I think because I'm level 3 now, I get a 2d6 on my sneak attack. Maybe that's why. You might. I'm not sure on that. It definitely says it on this. On D&D &D Beyond? Yeah. Uh, so that, 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 that's why it's starting. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't, before I know what happened, before I know what happened. <laughs> I have inspiration. Does this count as an attack? It, te, yes, will count it as an attack. <laughs> so I can strike with supernatural accuracy, give me a plus 10. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll let it go, yeah. Uh, so, uh, pudding falls from the sky, uh, encapsulating two of the guards, uh, kind of actually forcing them together. They look very uncomfortable, um, and they won't make eye contact. I wanted you dead. You'd be dead. Let us through. Oh, they can't stop you. They're just trying to force their way out. The other guard kind of, the guard that got smacked up against the wall, his eyes open really wide. Uh, and he kind of stays against the wall. Chrono. Give it a second. It's it's going. <laughs> I clicked it about twenty seconds ago. I'm assuming it's gonna show up eventually. Hey, it did. Which one are you attacking? One of the ones in the pudding, or the one against the wall? The one. Are the ones in the pudding actually getting away, or are they stuck in the pudding? They're stuck in the pudding currently. I'm gonna do wall boy. Um, now, what I believe, by the way is that I have my 1d6 plus 4. Okay, so the 4 is just auto on that. So, yeah, 10 damage if 21 hits. Mm -hmm. It hits. Does it murder him? Not yet, but he looks severely damaged. Like, he he looks like he doesn't have long on this world. Well, he's about to get an offhand one as well. And that should be a 1d4. So, am I supposed to roll a dex save? Um, Evidently. Oh, fuck it. I rolled a 14, so 13, pardon me. I can't math today. Cool. Uh, stabby stab. Great, he dies. 
You now have two dead guards. Right at that moment, several guards appear on the other side of the port, Corliss, with bows and pikes. <clears throat> uh, the one in front of you, not the one behind you. How many guards? Well, you see three with bows, flanked by three behind them with port, uh, with uh, pikes, and they level their bows at you and begin to fire. Uh, Chrono does a 16 hit. Yes. All right, you take three damage from the first arrow. Jarlene... Actually, wait a second. Do I have full plate on right now? You do. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> I don't think that's going to hit in that case. <laughs> full plate. But I do not have proficiency with it, so it's going to be a bad time. Well, it's only going to stop you from being stealthy. <clears throat> so just... You still wear it. Yeah, just general plate. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me add that item because I definitely didn't have it in. Mm -hmm. Equipment. Uh, put on the plate. Take off the leather. Brown chicken, brown cow. Uh, 18, so no. No, it doesn't hit you. All right. Uh, Jarlene, does a 19 hit? It dies. All right. Uh, you take three damage from an arrow as well. <laughs> Aang. Oh, Does yeah. a 14 hit? Um, it would, but I'm going to try to deflect this shit. Oh, uh, yes. Catch that arrow and yeah. use a key point to throw it back. Oh, no. I don't have any key points. This is going to be Oh, uh, yeah. You, you, ooh, you're <laughs> fucked. Yeah. Um, so it's a D10 plus my dex plus my monk level. Okay. That's cool. D10 plus dex is 2 plus monk level is 3. So 15. So... You I catch, catch the arrow. arrow. Yep. And you oh, take it. Wait. Well, it's got to roll a d10 first. <sighs> it's still one of the dice. Do monks ever get the ability to catch the arrow and reverse the velocity and speed of it just <laughs> right yeah, back? So you can catch any projectile, and if you use a key point, you can throw it back for a ranged attack. <laughs> That's why I love my monk. He does that what, all the time. What proficiency? Proficiency. Proficiency. Uh, whatever. Yeah, we it. know what you mean. Um, <laughs> still rolling that. Oh, wait. Okay, so six plus. Two plus three, so that would be nine. Fifteen. Six plus two plus three, that's Ten. eleven. Eleven. Nine yeah. of you can that's a number. Good job, everybody. Good job. Oh. Let's go. So, eleven. If I rolled eleven, that means I reduced the damage by that much if I get hit. Yeah. So I got hit, and I reduced the damage by eleven. And you take no damage. Take Does no he damage. heal? Just, it's just one catch. D. It was one D six. Like so. Yeah, holding an arrow. I feel like All you right. should have taken that. <laughs> the three archers have fired at you. You guys aren't close enough for the pikemen. Um, but you hear people shouting, lower the gate! Lower the gate! Raise the gate. Raise the gate. <laughs> um, that brings us to Aang. Um, Aang really wants to know what's going on, so he's going to try to grapple someone again. You have two people in pudding that are already incapacitated. Grab on that pudding, bro. Isn't there a guy right in front of me, though? He's dead. Chrono oh, just killed okay, him. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to reach in and pull a guy out of pudding and just try to intimidate him to tell him what's going on. Roll strength with advantage. You, you won. I guarantee it. <laughs> yeah, that's a 22. All right, so you pulled him out, uh, and you were currently holding him, glaring deep into his eyes. Uh, I'm gonna try to roll intimidation. Like, uh, why are you fighting us? Who are you? And what is happening right now? Uh, he doesn't look very intimidated. Burn that but... inspiration. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, that's I got a whole one up. Okay. He looks he looks mildly more intimidated, but not significantly. <laughs> and he looks at you and says, "You or us? You attacked us." You came here unprovoked. You're not one of us, and you claim to be. What I just want to doing? be a real boy. Who's one of us? What? The guard. But, like, guard for who? Oh, There's yeah. a lot of parties going on right now. For the duchy. No, or with the duchy. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you're not. You, you know nothing. <laughs> you talking about the same duchy? Is there two duchies here? Darlene, is there two duchies here? They're with Regalio! Kill them all! <laughs> all right, Did you do uh, anything else, Aang? Uh, uh, can I punch him? No, you didn't take the attack action, so you don't get a okay. bonus action. Um, 
<laughs> I guess he's grappled, if anything. Okay. Tank. All right, how close are those new guards that came? Uh, they're about 15 feet away from you guys. They have a 10-foot range with their pikes. So if you step forward five feet, you'll be in range of their pikes, but they won't be in range of you. Step, so, step. You, so everyone, including archers, are within 30 feet. Then. So the archers are on the other side of stone. So you wouldn't go... I see. There are three archers and three pikemen that are within 30 feet. There are also one guard being grappled by angry and one guard being stuck in pudding that is also within 30 feet. All right. All right, I raise up my symbol. You know what's going to happen. I thought that was Radiance. Fire, holy fire! <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I definitely thought that said Radiance uh, of the Lawn. Uh, so I've got to make six con saves. Seven, con eight con saves. Thanks for notifying the entire world that we're here. <laughs> One pass, one fail, two pass, two fail, four fail. That's a lot of fail. So I have four fails, two passes, uh, <laughs> six fails, and two passes. So one of the archers and one of the pikemen pass, everyone else fails. And they take 10 damages then? Yep. Yeah. All right. So fast. none of them die, but uh, some of them look severely hurt. Jesus bless you. They say bless you. You have Jesus in your house? Oh, you know he does. I'll actually have pictures of him all over the place, so yeah. <laughs> the Lord is well. Give me the well. sometime. <laughs> all right. Uh, <clears throat> good job, Tank. Chrono. Stabby stab. Oh, I'm sorry, Jarlene. I don't know why I said Chrono. Because stab. No the port holes in front of us look after that. Uh, yeah. Pretty damn it. Untouched. It looks solid as ever. Why does this keep foaming? Can I see any mechanisms around it to raise it or anything like that, like that from where we're standing? Roll uh, perception. It's getting there. Nope, never mind. Nope, you see that it looks like a really solid gate. It's kind of dark out since you know it's the middle of the night, so it's kind of hard to see any details. In the flickering torchlight. Alright. Well. We're doing it, we're doing it. <laughs> Do it you guys have other options, you know that, right? It doesn't feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> you ever hear of uh, breaking contact? No. That's for well, Coast Guard. <laughs> we're not the Coast Guard. Crusaders <laughs> does not offer. <laughs> It's going pretty good so far. I mean, yeah, better. Uh, you've taken out two of the po probably twenty or thirty guards in the area. That's yeah. easy. That's at least one percent. They're as strong as those rats. Where we got this. <laughs> All right. So, what are you doing, Charlene? I am going to toss a guiding bolt at whichever at one of the two guys who didn't get hit by uh, tankards. Okay. Oh my god, stop foaming! 4d6, holy shit. Mm -hmm. Range roll attack is equal to 5. I do spells so rarely, I keep getting how to do it. <laughs> it's a hit! Alright. Uh, what's your damage? Oh my god. 16 so, plus advantage. What's it next? You managed to kill one of the archers. I hope so. <laughs> and let's see. It's a good range. I won't. I won't. <laughs> I don't know what's all you. We stand here and fuck your little pipes. Wow, you just killed us something. All right. Uh, at that moment, you hear. Down gate! Down gate! And the portcullis behind you slowly begins to descend. Is it my turn now? It is now your turn. Can I see the uh, like the cog or the function in which is allowing this to lower? Reception. I have dark vision. <laughs> Seventeen. You're, you're able to see that there might be some kind of mechanism in the stone. Um, 
between the gate and the ceiling of the uh, tunnel, but it's really, really f like fine crack. You can barely see the mechanism. Does so the it's mechanism above you somewhere? Does it look like a piece of wood? No, it looks like it's definitely metal. I want to use my crossbow to aim a bolt right at it to see if I can lock it. Terrific. Go ahead and roll for hit. <laughs> oh, wow. Way to fuck me, dice. I mean, that, that's a good hit, but not quite good enough. I don't have inspiration because you don't love me. I give out inspiration sometimes. <laughs> I haven't got into this game. Uh, so with my offhand... Have you not? No, I've not gotten it once. Huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck you too, Brandon. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll offhand with my psychic blade uh, <clears throat> the one of the archers. So are you throwing it or are you... I'm, yeah, I'm just tossing it with my offhand. And tank raid, yes. Uh, okay, go ahead. You definitely hit. You sink one right between the eyes of one of the archers that's already been hit by the holy fire, and he drops dead to the ground. Well, technically, nothing was sunk. Okay, it passes through Tim. And, and makes his brain go dead. poof. Great, his brain poofed. TBI. There's confetti inside his dome piece. Good. All right, at that point, the remaining one archer uh, opens up, and Tancred does a 16 hit. Nope. All right, wow. he fails to hit you. Uh, Aang. All right, well, Aang's for the last two, turn, two turns trying to lightly hurt and talk, so now he's just going to focus on majorly hurting. I was um, actually really impressed that Aang was doing something other than punching. It was, there was violence involved. Um, so right now the guard is on the ground, so he's just going to, like, raise the axe and, like, like he wouldn't <laughs> chop it the wood. Just bring it down on <laughs> Do it. <laughs> it hits, and it deals um, them a significant amount of damage. Is there anyone that's not uh, injured at all yet? Like, what, You what have... Is... Everybody else is currently injured to some degree, but one of the pikemen, pikemen looks the healthiest. That pikeman is definitely getting the wrath of 40 wax. All right. Um, Sounds racist. And, and this is an among weapon, so I think that ends my turn. Okie dokie, that brings us to tank. Right. Wait, do I know if if the, the bridge is going to fall down anytime soon? Or is this oh, no. takes like... It looks very strong and sturdy. It is uh, part of a building meant to withstand sieges, so I think you're okay. <laughs> no, I mean, like, is it going to get lowered, you know, for the gate? Oh, you're talking about the though? gate. Yeah. So the gate in front of you isn't moving. The gate behind you, that would be your route of retreat, has moved down a couple of feet. There's still enough room for you guys to get out, if you so choose. <laughs> or you guys can stay there, have the gate drop on both sides of you, and become fish in a barrel. That's a choice, too. All right. Damn it, Aang. Mute yourself. So, well, I know if Pike Man is about to charge at us. The, they can't charge. There's a gate between you and them. Not yet. Awesome. <laughs> Are you going to fucking burn us all down again? Um, oh, God. There's no wooden floor for you to breathe through. That won't stop But him. I do have a burning hand. Are you a Gundam? Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> so, are you... Uh, what's your target? All three pike men, 15 feet in front of me. Great. All right. Uh, oh. You kill one of them. And two of them look like they're severely singed. Doesn't the archer now take the damage that was placed onto one of the pikemen? There's a cone. Yeah, but oh, no, 40 wax. Think. The one that he was holding, yes. So the guy on the ground also takes damage. Uh, he's He suddenly just forms burns all over his body and starts screaming. <laughs> it tastes like burning! <laughs> what the hell happened, brother? You, you burned him. <laughs> All right, Charlene. So we have two two pikemen left ahead of us, one archer, and that's it? Two pikemen and an archer ahead of you. You have a guard on the ground next to you and a guard whose the pudding has almost completely fallen off of him behind you. I thought part of the pikemen. 
Uh, I'd say that they're standing shoulder to shoulder. Damn it. It wasn't the middle guy who got hit. Never mind. I was trying to think if anybody, anybody could rush the gate and try and pick it up because. Yeah. Pick up the gate. That, the gate meant to withstand sieges. I love it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, Jolene, what are we doing? He's trying to lift the gate, evidently. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. I'm going for it. I'm trying to rush I'm the gate. I'm a turtle! All right, <laughs> that, that will put you in range of both pikemen. Just so you know. Okay, great. Go ahead roll, a, roll a strength check. I'm a turtle. <laughs> That's, that does not actually lift the gate. God damn it. But does it stop the gate from going down any further? He's trying to go to the front gate, right? Oh, the front gate yeah. closed. Yeah, he's trying to open oh. the front gate, not the gate well, behind you. That was silly in that case. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Chrono, it's your turn. I'm going to try and lob another crossbow bolt at the... Is it dropped all the way down yet? No, it's it, it will descend more after your turn. It's two feet down. There's still a six-foot opening. All right, I'm going to... Say a prayer to Bahamut and try and shoot into the little area again. Fuck! That unfortunately did not make it. It bounced off the stone. All right, I'm gonna offhand stabby stab uh, the archer on the ground. Fuck! I don't think that hit. Fortunately, it did not hit. I feel one sidekick can't do it. No, no, I probably shouldn't get advantage anymore. No, Ooh. because well, are you are you trying to hit the person that that Aang threw down or the archer? Because the guy that Aang threw down is his normal guard. Whichever one has the forty wax. Yeah, that's the normal guard. Oh, that's okay, what I was so going you have for. Advantage then. Uh, he's still on the ground. So I'll just roll another one. Yep. Ah! <laughs> Ironically, the same damage. There you go. Uh, you terminated him, and the pikeman that was on the other side of the uh, gate also drops dead. <laughs> That's it. I just laugh like that maniacally. Terrific. <laughs> All right. Uh, the archer that is still alive, he opens up. He fires at Aang. Aang does a twelve hit. Uh, twelve doesn't hit. All right. Uh, one of the pikemen is the remaining one pikeman is going to try and hit Charlene. Uh, does not hit. It does take one d four damage. I rushed the gate. <laughs> Using a pike. I'm right there. Damn. Yeah, he is within five feet, so he'll take the d4 damage. Cute. All right. Oof. He uh, he gets an extra slash on his arm for his his uh, efforts. <clears throat> you hear um, a rumbling above you guys as like stone starts to grate across stone, uh, and if you look up, you see little holes, maybe the size of your fist, opening up in the in the tunnel above you. I didn't mean to do that. Everyone make a dex save. Uh-oh. Ruh-roh. Oh, God, they've got murder holes. <laughs> Can I burn they... inspiration? Yeah, if you'd like to burn inspiration, go ahead. Oh, that's a 20. Cool. Yeah, that's fantastic, have... gang. Fuck. I'm burning Fuck. inspiration for this as well. Oh, are we doing dex saves? Yep. Can I give people my inspiration? <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> All right, so Chrono and Aang, you manage to, to dodge and take half damage. As oh, no. uh, as molten something, start mo burning oil probably, starts pouring from the holes in the ceiling. What the f- The gate descends another two feet. There is only a four foot gap now. Okay. okay. Aang, it's your turn. Um, sorry, I'm doing math, which isn't been my strongest. Seven. Ability. Seven. I meant math from my other, like, 7, 11 minus 7. It's 4. It's 4, guys. I figured it out. Um, <laughs> I believe. Uh, so... Aang, what's your intelligence score? Intelligence uh, 8. That makes sense. Yeah, that, that, that passes the check. Um, so I'm going to look around and realize, oh, for the first time in Aang's life, he must retreat. Um... No, go for it. <laughs> he's going to grab the guard that's still in the pudding, try to pick him up. Does that work? 
Yes, you succeed in dragging him from the pudding restraint. Okay, I'm gra- dragging him with uh, me as I'm screaming, we gotta run. <laughs> and I'm moving away. You're able to move at half movement. You are now within range of the archers that are on the wall. Shoot me, I dare you. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm just moving as far as I can, I guess. All right, Tank, you see that Aang just retreated about 15 feet outside of the gate. What do you do? All right, I'm... <clears throat> All right, first, I'm going to heal myself. Saw too. Yeah. Just remember, take full. You don't have to roll for it. Yeah, I know. I'm just, okay. I'm just clicking it. And then I scream to... Brothers and sisters, retreat now for victory later. And rush, is, rush, rush to the rear gate and try to hold it for Darlene and Chrono. Right. Oh god, you weakling. You get squished. <laughs> Not yet. Dragon we'll soup. <laughs> Alright, Darlene. How how uh, thick are you from belly to back of shell? Uh, 470 pounds. I've never measured. So would you say 4 feet or less, hopefully? It's gonna be it's close. <laughs> three and three quarters. <laughs> Ow. We'll call it roughly four feet. You might get a couple scratches in your shell if you try to belly crawl under. All right. Yeah. Or you can stay. That's totally up to you too. <laughs> scoot, turtle, scoot. <laughs> that's, that's you get like a, you get on all, you get on all fours and like actually move like a turtle. Acrobatics yeah. check. See if you can spin. <laughs> Break dance. Yeah. Oh, just roll. Roll. Turtle spin out. Yeah. If we're, if we're running, we're running. Panzers! Just trying to retreat back from the gate and get back to the other port calls before you get trapped in here. And it won't be turtle soup. <laughs> Alright, so you're just breaking contact? Are yeah. you taking disengage or are you going to let them hit you? They can try. <laughs> try your best, weird. They did not hit you. I rolled it too. So. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> you're able to make it. Uh, you're able to scooch under the um, gate, and you're over with Ang. All right, go ahead and heal myself as well. Okay, Chrono. I'm gonna move over. Can I still see the mechanism if I'm like at the gate? If you're directly under it, you see it very clearly. Okay, I'm going to move under to the gate and try and shoot the mechanism with my crossbow one more time. Okay. Oh, the fucking dice fucked me! Since you're directly under it, I'm going to give you advantage. Okay. All these fucking... I'm just going to roll... Oh, fuck it. All the dice! <laughs> 23. Alright, uh, you managed to lock it open. I go... At least for now. I go... Ah-ha-ha! And uh, can I psychic blade? Is it so? Right now, there's no one other than the guard that Aang has, and one pikeman, right? Yes. I want to psychic blade the pikeman with my offhand. I'm gonna toss it at him, right through his dome piece. It hits, and with all the damage he's taken, he falls dead to the ground. No, one of the pudding guards is dead. The other pudding guard is currently being dragged by Aang. Okay, just making sure. And I and I turn to them and I say. Come on, chumps. Let's do this. Let's do this? Well, I mean, I, I stopped the gate from closing. You did, in fact, for at least for now. No. They so. just dumped fire on us. What's that? <laughs> fire on us. All right. I'll, I'll... I'll... What? I'm white lizard to the red. I am covered in my own blood. Father. Well, that sounds unfortunate. Um, Aang is uh, also covering in his own blood as usual. I'll use the remainder of my movement to get under the gate. Okay. Um, Chrono, how much do you weigh? Uh, about one ninety. I could throw that. <laughs> you could, but you're you're on. The, you're not going to. There will no be a stabby. <laughs> there will be a stabby stab in turtle soup. So as the uh, final pikeman falls to the ground in a limp, just puddle of limbs, um, <laughs> you slide under the gate, leaving only Tancred still within the uh, gatehouse. Uh, the archers up above um, open up on you guys. Uh, those don't hit. That one hits. 
And that one doesn't hit. All right, does a 24 hit you, Charlene? Sure does. All right. <laughs> uh, you, get cut, you get hit with an arrow, taking four damage, as the rest of them kind of fall around you guys harmlessly. Obviously, these guards are a little bit green. Is that Legolas up there, though? <laughs> and he yells, one! <laughs> God damn it. All right. Uh, at the same time, you hear more guard, more boots marching on the other side of the gate where the pikemen were, and you see more people coming up to the gate. <laughs> All right. Uh, Aang, it's your turn. Oh, I'm still just running. I figure I don't know where we should run to. We know the house that we just came from has no one in it. Let's go to Regalio's. Who's Regalio? He's the man. Again? With the plan. The manner. He has the tunnel that you peed in. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Brothers, go to the river. To the riverside. Okay. To the, river. to the river that's outside of town. <laughs> or the well. Anything with some natural water in it. The fuck? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Is there water nearby? I run to the closest natural well. <laughs> Okay, that's going to be about six turns away. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Disengage. Wait, what's your movement speed? Uh, 30. Yeah, so I'll let you dash in three turns. Yay. But mine's 40. So you'll get there <laughs> two turns. So powerful. Weird flex, but okay. Sure, I guess we're running the water. We're really confused right now. It's about to be a Pokemon adventure. <laughs> and you're the Squirtle. Oh, oh. oh mm. I see the problem now. Good, because I don't. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> it's the problem that we attacked a bunch of guards. Well, they had their weapons on us. Yeah, they're guards. That's what guards do. No. We thought there was you're a coup. To a guard. <laughs> I mean, I see the problem with something else. We're good. Okay, okay. So I guess we're just does heading sense, to Tank a Red? well. Tancred, does that make sense? Yep, it does. Okay, great. Are we still heading to a well? Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> perhaps Regalio's house. Or the house with all the dead people so we can figure out what's happening. I, I don't think that's going to help us. There's just dead people there. Oh, We're no by Udek now, right? Huh? We're by Castle Udek now, right? Yeah. yeah. Cool. So doesn't matter. I think we should go to Regalio's house and see if we can infiltrate. Maybe the tunnel was finished. Yeah, let's go to the puzzle house. Hey. Alright. I head towards the puzzle house. <laughs> um I am carrying a guard. Yeah, which means you're at half movement speed. Okay, so I'll get there with everyone else, I guess. So go ahead and actually, I'll see if they. No, no, no. All right, you guys are able to evade the guards uh, as they begin a citywide search for you. Oh no! Uh, you reach Regalio's house unmolested. Uh, you see that it's dark. Damn. You don't see any lights inside. Uh, no movement. Nothing of that nature. All right, let's head inside to the trap door. Um, I'll go gather the keys. All right. So I'll disarm the traps on my way. Do I need to do any checks for that? No, you know where all the things that you found uh, originally were. So, okay. at least so far. Quality perception. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'll grab the keys and then head down to the trap cellar area of doom. All right, are you guys, are the rest of you going with him? They are. It's going down the cellar, I guess. Um, okay. I mean, I don't even know why we're on the map. There's no one there, so. We're going down. All right, what were you saying, Aang? Um, I think I'm going to sit down the guard, though, and I'll just be like, hey, what's your name? But, hey, he looks kind of dazed from being dragged halfway across the town. He, he looks, you know, goes, my, my name is... Isella Hank. <laughs> I'm sorry. Isella. I'm going to call you Ice. Okay, they call Ice. me Izzy. I'm going to call you Ice. 
Um, what is happening? Well, you attacked us. Then you dragged me but, here. But yeah, I, still, I still smell like pudding. Ice, you attacked us. <clears throat> no, a your crazy friend drew a, a weapon We're and attacked us. Stop coup thing from happening. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't draw involved. anything, sir. I had psychic blades. Who do you work for? Are you or have you previously been planning a coup? I plan nothing. I just get paid. Money, 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 money. Are you involved in some sort of coup? I, I don't know what a coup is. Neither do I. Uh, I just keep hearing it thrown around. <laughs> but I know there was a, a change of the guard tonight. Are you, so, who changed, Ice? A lot of people. And if they didn't pledge loyalty, then they were either killed or dragged to the dungeon. I was smart. I pledged Ice. loyalty. Who did you pledge loyalty, loy loyalty to, Ice? The Duchess. But where with the Duchess? This bitch! Uh, obviously not. Why obviously not? Because the guard captain said to kill you. Which captain? The one you killed. Oh, we killed the cat guys. We killed the captain. That wasn't Joe. <laughs> Joe, no, Joe. Joe wouldn't swear loyalty. Joe is stupid. You killed Joe. I didn't kill Joe. I don't know what happened to Joe. They took him away. You just said they killed Joe. Did you see? No, I said you killed the new captain. They took Joe. Were these doors open, or am I just in here for fun? You guys are in there. Yeah, it's open. That means that they reopened it. We should probably go. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, they were open. Keep going. Um, I have a torch. Tancred and Jolly is trying to get the torch on. Uh, can we just kill this guy and leave? I feel like he still has some valuable information. Like, like we're real really confused right now. I'm going to investigate his pockets. Curly's gonna feel him up. Do I find anything that is not a penis? You find three silver and a note from his mother that was obviously placed in his lunchbox telling him to have a good day, honey. Okay, I'm going to smack him upside the head, knocking him out. Roll the hit. Uh, down near... Okay, yeah, you knock him out. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I take the note. <laughs> All right. Not the silver. Yeah. Did you take the note from his mother? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It may come in handy later. You don't know. <laughs> note. All right. So where are you guys going? This fucking tunnel. <clears throat> All right. As you progress down the tunnel, um, is there sure your is there a mouse? Character tokens in the right place. They are great. No, it's a tunnel that looks like it was just recently carved. As you guys uh, progress down the tunnel, um, you come to the point where you had stopped before, and you see it's been blasted away. Uh, they must have brought more powder in. Looks like your urine wasn't strong enough. As you, as you uh, come out of the tunnel, you find that you're in a room uh, with uh, chains dangling from the walls here and here. And a gate, a metal, solid metal door with a small, like, hole in it. I have a key from somewhere. I don't remember where I got it, but it's rusty. Brothers and sisters, we might need to rest before a friends any further. Uh, I don't think we really have time for that right now. Alright, there was my last... Spell cast and for the well, nobody I have healing potions. That I have so plenty. I know you guys have that that healing potions. Aang has that fancy. Aang has that fancy red potion that he got from oh my his God. house. Actually, yeah, he does, doesn't he? Don't know if it's a healing potion. It looks like a healing potion. It smelled like a healing potion. <laughs> um, Aang was saving it for when he was on his death, like his one, his <laughs> death thing where he. Let's Dice find out more, there. and then we can rest later. We need to figure out what's going on. I think we've been duped. Duped. Duped Fancy by way. almost a duke. <laughs> <laughs> ha! 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 I tried to unlock the door. 
Can I get a you can find that it, you, you can't see? No. I would like to use sight. <laughs> I can't see clearly. I didn't give you sight. Now you have sight. <laughs> can anybody else not see? I can see. I can see. And it feels much more smoother now. Just like your mom. <laughs> yeah. You wow. Sorry, my the whole roll twenty is locking up on me. Give me a second. It's probably because we're all moving our fucking icons around like assholes. You say while you move yours actively. I said all of us. All right. I um. Exclude anybody. You find that the door is actually unlocked. I open it. She just started this door. It would help if I remove the door. Bear with me. It's taking its time. I am the door. All right. The door is open. Hmm. There's a lot of doors here. You, As you come out, you guys see that you're obviously in a prison or a dungeon of some sort. Uh, it's surprisingly quiet. Uh, you would expect it to be louder if it was a you know, well-stocked, well-used dungeon. Um, <clears throat> all around you, you see doors that look very solid. They have little holes you can slide and look inside and slide back. Um, I want to check these four doors by looking in their slides to see if there's anything in the room since I have dark vision. Yeah. Wait, is this um actual um character or just a fake? Wait, oh, well, crap. Stop fucking sprinting around the goddamn map. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you're not moving that fast normally, so... There you go. You have no idea because you didn't see that I left a portion of the wall undone. <laughs> okay. Aang is going to turn and ask the party, why do we care about this? Because they want Joe. Okay, you care about Joe. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't really care at all. Uh, Tankard, what's your, what's your stake in this? Brothers! Right. Our elder needs my help. help. You get to punch people, Aang. Be happy. All I know is this, this Duchess was our friend, isn't our friend. Ice had some compelling points. <laughs> uh, Jordan, looking in the rooms, you see that they're empty. It doesn't look like they've actually ever had a person in them. What about this one? Uh, it is currently locked. It doesn't have a slide? It does not. Oh, okay. In that case... Well, it gonna... does, but the slide's on the other side. Oh, well, that's weird. Um... <laughs> Okay, how about the four up here? Or the three up here? Well, I'm they... that. Yeah. Sister Jolene, we might need your strength here. And then hey, I'll... That thing, that's is a that gate. Oh, that, I, yeah. no, I was I, confused about what that was. I didn't know. I apologize. Was. I tried to leave it so you guys can kind of see through it, because that's just a, a gate, slotted gate. But got if it, I don't do a solid wall, you can move through it. So. Um, okay. I'll <laughs> check these three as well for slides to see if there's anything special. All right, you find nothing in that one, nothing in this one. But in this one, you see a man laying on the ground who looks slightly familiar, tall, uh, imperious, kind of weaselly looking. Laying there, bleeding. That sounds like Ed. Uh, it can sounds I, a lot like Ed. Can I open the door? Uh, it is locked. I will attempt to unlock it. Not successfully, probably. Uh, no, you actually managed to unlock it. Yay, I'll open it up. And you see Ed laying there, and he's like, <coughs> You... <coughs> what are you doing here? <coughs> what are bleeding you... Bleeding from his belly. What are you doing here? I, uh, I tried to stop them, but they, uh, they took him. Who did they, they take? Took him. Indolf. They've taken Indolf. You must save him, please. I couldn't, but you must. Who's is they? The Duchess, good or bad? The du the Duchess is who took him. She's taking over. She's replaced all the <laughs> guards with, uh, with loyalists to her. <laughs> She's she's looking for the prince. She will kill him. Where's Joe? I don't I don't know. They had him down here somewhere. I heard him screaming. <laughs> Please save Indolf. Do you have any items that we can use to help? Do you have keys? <laughs> Do you have any secret knowledge of the mansion? They've taken everything from me except my love. My love for him. Well, that's not useful here, and I yeah. just I just slide the dagger into his heart to make his pain go bye bye. Oh God! Uh, he wasn't. 
Okay. He was definitely going to die. He Aang's well, gonna, dead now. Aang's not going to do anything, but he's going to roll medicine real quick just to see like what his medical I'm, opinion on the I'm, situation I'm, was. Your medical opinion is he just had a sharp object pushed through his heart. Before that, like, what was his... How was he nope. Doing before all that? You should have done that before then. Is the story... I just want, like, he, he had a significant belly wound. Uh, it was <laughs> leaking a little bit of blood here and there. You could see a little bit of intestine popping out and some kind of, like, uh, gooey substance kind of melting around in there. Um, he was Weird. pale. He was cool, clammy, diaphoretic, you know. That means he's going to die. Bad. So, okay, so he wasn't long for this world. Got it. Just make sure. Yeah, that's why I killed him. Uh, does this door open? Oh, Jarlene's been trying to get my attention. Oh, okay. Which door? The one we're, we're standing in front of? You mm -hmm. Uh, you hit it, and it, a resounding gong moves through the whole um, dungeon, and you dented the door some. You can actually see a little bit around the edge of it. I just perk up and I say, Jarlene's nearby still. <laughs> the door is nearby. I just continue to fiddle with the lock. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try Which to use my. Are you with? Okay, he's failed. I'm over on the left side. Okay, great. Uh, tank, what are you doing? Try to try to open this dented door. He failed. Can I assist? <laughs> what was that jar? Can I assist? Sure, give him a hand. Turtle power. <laughs> Teenage mutant ninja turtles. All right. Uh, you dent it further. Um, it looks like it's hanging on by a thread. Chrono, are you trying to pick that lock? Yeah. Go ahead and roll. I did, 22. Oh. <laughs> That's way up there, sorry. Uh, you managed to open that door um, at about the same time that I would have seen the other guys open their door. So let me just go ahead and open some doors for you. I look at them like in. the Spider-Man meme. You? <laughs> As you guys go in, you see uh, a very um, well-armored female, looks very muscular and like she's always in charge standing here. Uh, up, up up, to the north, you guys see, uh, looks like kind of a wall of bars uh, through which you can see another guard, uh, we'll say interrogating a man on the table here. Um, you have another uh, man in this cage here, uh, a desk with a chair, a couple of shelves, and a chest. Okay. Everyone roll initiative. What color is, or do they have any insignia on? No. Huh? It's clobbering time. Oh, them. <laughs> it's clobbering time. <laughs> right. Oh, wow. All right. You guys are killing it. We're about to literally kill it. Do we get any cool music? You'll get it in a second, yes. Yes. Yas, Dottie. That also is a very dynamic entry we did, so I was just you guys back you, for that one. Well, you guys will each get a, um, a surprise round, because you guys busted through the doors and she didn't notice you. So, I feel like she should have known, or I feel like she probably knows the door. She it? heard the door, but she was surprised when it flew off its hinge as it flew across the room. And a turtle and a dragon were on the other side. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you sound like Hitler. Just a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Da. Not gonna use that. All though. right. So uh, everyone gets a one round uh, to do what you do. Okay. So just to make sure that I understand, this guy is—is is he interrogating somebody here? This guy is, looks like he's been disarmed and beaten. He's got bruises all over his face, and he's currently in a cell. Okay. But there's somebody interrogating somebody in there. There's somebody interrogating somebody in here. Okay. I'm gonna move up one, two, three, just four. For the record, these bars here are impassable. I just have them so you can see through them. Okay, so well, don't just jump into the room. There's a door here. It's a good thing that I don't need that when I have psychic blades. <laughs> can my psychic blades make it through? No, Tank. It's like 2 in the morning. Dang it. God damn it, Jarlene. <laughs> uh, would I be able to throw my blades through there? Absolutely. I'm going to try and psychic blade the guy who's torturing the shit out of what I assume is probably Joe. <clears throat> it's it's going. Just give it a second here. I, I, I believe in it. 
I believe in you. I clicked it. It's just a waiting thing. <laughs> I don't see how cold puke helps. Uh, 19. Whoa. It did penetrate the wall. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Cold. Don't yeah. mind that one. Um, so I'll hit him for nine, and then I'll use my offhand to do an additional attack. <laughs> Looks like it's a good hit. Sorry, suddenly everyone on my app died, so I'm trying to fix it. There you go, everyone's live again. Awesome. Uh, yeah, that hits. Total Same of 16. Guy? Yep. Alright, he's dead. Alright, good. That's it. That's my turn. <laughs> All right, as your psychic blades hit him, he just falls to the ground. He lets out a little cry of, of anguish, and a tear, a bloody tear, leaks down his cheek. I wonder if he had a note from his mom, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this brings us to Jarlene. Is one, two, three, four. Now you're behind the armor lady and do what I do. Bam. Do what you do. Oh, oh God. It's just like the meme. Yep. <laughs> uh, that looks painful as she takes 20, not 200, 20. No, isn't that 40? It's a crit, isn't it? Oh, never mind. I'm retarded. Don't mind me. See, She's still alive. I mean, she is an armored lady. Yeah. There we go. right thing. Oh. Yeah. Or, like, all the kids' lunches that you don't have to pay for. You're right. muted. You're muted. And he didn't have a note from his mother. Oh. Uh, Charlene, the claws don't hit. Okay. No, I meant, like, well, the first session, wasn't there a guy that had a note from his mom or something? Probably. I oh, whatever. Anyway. I don't know. I get confused between the two campaigns. I try to do different things for each of you. All right. Uh... Aang. Aang is very happy that there's no talking, that stuff he has to figure out is pure, simple punching. Actually, this time it's going to be non-chunky. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, Aang. no. So do you come charging in so excited. Oh, that inspiration. Oh. <laughs> How much inspiration do you have? I only had two. I'll use it twice. Oh, he, he used everything. I've talked about using it. And... That one hits. Okay. That's better. <laughs> and damage, and I'm going to punch a woman in the face. Roll for this seems pretty normal for you. <laughs> I mean, he does have a, a history of it. That one history does not hit. I, I can't imagine it does. All right, yeah. She's still alive? She's very much still alive and looking very pissed off. All right, tank. All right, tank charges in, and hopefully, it all right. It popped up. Oh God! Is that that's the hit, right? Yeah. So or is that I the just... damage. Not sure. Is it the hit or that? I think that's rolling to hit. Yep. Don't mind that. <clears throat> Make a meals. Uh... Oh, oh, that's a that's a hit damage, so I need to uh, click. Silver maze. Oh, uh, it doesn't work. Or... Oh, there we go. No, you you hit with that. No. Oh, with the oh. inflict wounds. Okay. Well, clicking it does nothing. So. We'll just look at d twenty for what your damage is. Okay. Shit. All right. Oh, oh there we go. Three d ten. There you go. Okay. Oh, guys. Okay. We so, going on. We're going with the 12 that you rolled the first time. All right. Apparently, roll 20 is really delayed right now. Actually, actually I do have three inspiration, so I'm going to use one more. Uh... No, 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 no. Inspiration uh... means if you roll badly, you can re-roll that roll. It doesn't oh, mean you can attack again and again and again. No, I mean, I'm going to I'm gonna re I'm gonna get rid of 12 and get something better than that. So it only works on d20 rolls for attacks, saves, things like that. Not oh, shit, for okay. attack damage. Dang it. Good question, though. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> so is she dead or alive? Oh, she's not dead. Are you serious? 
No. She, uh, her armor looks a little dented, and one of her arms might be broken, but she just glares at you guys. Uh, Chrono, it's your turn. I'm going to move in to a little bit better range. Yeah. Do all of us have advantage on her at this point? Now you all do. Everyone's got advantage. Okay. Um, so with that, I am going to... Um, I'm going to use my rapier. That's what I'm going to do. One second. So do I get, I get to do a sneak attack rapier. Correct. And you have advantage, of course. Oh, god damn it. Fucking A. I switched back over to the character sheet because I'm hating D20 right now. Or roll 20. There we go. Either way. The 20 is a hit. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Now I just click this like a normal person. And then I do sneak attack. Oh, but I got to switch it to 2d6. Whatever, I'll just roll it twice. Uh, uh 12. 12. And I go, yeah. <laughs> uh, she falls to her knees, uh, in obvious pain, blood leaking from a myriad of different cuts and scrapes all over her body. <clears throat> Yes. Not dead, but just hurt. <laughs> are, are you just keeping track of the damage? Yes. Okay. This bitch is tanky. <laughs> she really is, isn't she? Jarlene, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're 24 hit. It just might. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, and part two. God damn it. That's a hit. And I'm going to take 18 more. Alright, and with that, she it's falls to the ground dead. Right. <clears throat> with, a, with a cry, without even having a chance to have drawn her sword, she falls to the ground, beaten, bloodied, armor dented. <laughs> 10. Uh, I want to search her to see if there's a key. You do find uh, a note on her um, if I can get it pulled up Tankred, you actually lose items for that <laughs> um, I, want I want to check out the uh, oh, a lunch note cell. I'm assuming you're going to share it with everybody right? yes sir All right, everyone has the note in their journal now is that commander's orders? yep and uh, Jarlene you're doing what now? I'm checking the cell doors I can open it uh, so while it, everyone's oh sorry go ahead no it opens while everyone's probably doing stuff uh this says the time has come i am trusting the garrison to you gather the guards and eliminate any who are not loyal admit no one to the castle once i start the spell i will need to remain undisturbed it should take me somewhere around 12 bells to complete when i am done however i shall have my reward and so shall you signed eleonora p.s if you see that bastard ed get rid of him too and make it slow I spent too long watching him have what I wanted from my power to my husband's bed. Ooh. Uh, he'll never be turned. He's so far up in Dolph's ass that it's hard to see where one begins and the other ends. So in Dolph's gay. Um, and, uh, well, Ed's dead, so I guess we did her a favor there. He, you passed, so. did her favor. <laughs> he was definitely going to die anyways. Um, I'm going to check this chest. We're clerics. You didn't have to die. You yeah, did. Like him. I'm taking too much for this. We'll talk about it. Uh, you're checking the chest, you said? Yeah, I'm assuming it's locked. <clears throat> uh, well, as you reach out, you see that... Um... Let me just do this real quick. My PP, no! You see that uh, it grows a mouth and tries to snap at you. Everyone roll initiative. Oh god, it's a fucking Final Fantasy hey. character. Why there a mimic down here? <laughs> Because mimics. Aha! <laughs> All right, Tank. I love your initiative there. Yeah, I know. Just have some quality rolls, man. Uh, Chrono. I Chrono mean, always has a good one. Yeah. In my defense, I am literally like covered in tars and blood. That's right. <laughs> You're still gooped up, aren't you? Yes. Off. <laughs> Charlene, you're doing better than normal. Don't say that too loud. All right, Chrono, you're first. Psychic blades. 
17. Uh, yeah, it hits. And then follow up psychic blades. It's... Come on. Roll. <laughs> Sometimes it works immediately. Other times, it does not. <laughs> That's why I prefer to roll on my dice by hand. Yeah. Yeah. It's... I clicked it twice, so there might be two rolls. Whichever one's the first one. Uh, oh, it's coming. It's coming. Uh, it looks like an 11. Hit. Okay, so eight damage, and I go... <laughs> oh, God. All right, Aang, it's your turn to fight the magic box. Yep, Aang's going to hit it. He's going to hit that? He's going to hit He's that box. He hits the thing, and he misses the thing. You're going to make sure you move near it, or... Oh, yeah. Are you, are you throwing your fists across the room? He's throwing his yeah. nunchucks. I <laughs> wouldn't <laughs> Um, try to hit it. Oh wait, there's keys right over there. <laughs> the twelve does hit. Twelve hits. Okay, cool. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yes, there are keys on the desk. <laughs> All right. Uh, you manage to strike it with your nunchucks and deal it some damage. It looks like um, your nunchucks bounce off its wooden and metal frame, but it hurts it a little bit. Hurts. Hit it with fire. All right, Jarlene. 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 Right, I'm trying to get, it, get the claws real fast. <laughs> uh, Maybe. The claw! There we go. The claws will hit. Whoa! What the fuck? Not well. Uh, claws are bludgeoning or are they piercing? No, they're piercing. Yeah. What so did I was gonna say? I was gonna say, damn! <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, Rolf, you can do it. Oh, much worse. There we go, slashing. All right, perfect. <clears throat> so I'll give you the five from the first one. <laughs> uh, and you end up, as you're slashing across it, the uh, wood kind of splinters under your under your fingers, leaving some splinters right under your fingernails, oh. uh, right under your claws. It's the most unpleasant thing, but it doesn't actually do you one point of HP. It's just really, really annoying. <laughs> All right, uh, the box is going to go ahead and lash out at the guy who touched him. Uh, I'm <laughs> yeah, assuming yeah. a nat 20 will hit. Yeah, that's going to hit. So, great. So he reaches out. Um, I need you to go ahead and roll a deck save. I'm sorry, strength save. Okay, so you managed not to be grappled by him. That's that's good, at least. <laughs> Reverse rape did not work today, sir. <laughs> but he deals you seven damage as his uh, crazy tongue lashes out and uh, strikes you. I feel like I'm in a hentai and I'm not comfortable with that. A little bit. It's not at all gross. <laughs> yep, right? yep, Jarlene knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Tank, it's your turn. Finally, all right. Brothers! All right, I'm going to go step up and... Here's my good old maze. <sighs> does it hit? It does. All right. Wow. Good hit. Uh, Brothers. You notice a couple of splinters pounce off of it as you uh, smash it with your mace. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Chrono. Um, I'm gonna psychic blade him again. <clears throat> Doesn't Psychic Blade not do damage if something has a certain intelligence? Doesn't say anything about that. Okay, that must be a different spell then. That's That might be like the, the fucking it's Psychic Knight one. vicious mockery that does that. Uh, and then I'm going to offhand with my decks as well. Uh, the Mimic is looking like the chest, but it still has enough. I really would want to give you splinters under your nails. Okay, go with it. Oh, I'm gonna go with it, don't worry. Which is why you didn't get damage. Uh, 14 total? 
Oof. Alright. It looks like it hurt. And I yell, HERESY! <laughs> Aang. Alright, well Aang just realized that the nunchucks didn't do much, so he's thinking like, okay, What's a box's natural weakness? Okay, box is made out of wood. Wood's weak to axe. Aang's going to hit with an axe. <laughs> is he going to give it 40 wax, is what you're saying? He's just going to hit it. But... Natural natural hit? Give an axe handle. Yeah. He's trying to hit it. It's not wrong, but it's thinking about it, I think. It might. It might do it one day. Oh, might be three of these. It's okay, we'll the first one since it was a crit. Yeah, the first one was a 20. And the last one was a one, so we'll go with the first. So that's cool. <laughs> Ten damage. Ten damage. Alright. Uh, you leave a deep cleave right in the lid of it. Aang's cleaves with his, like, analytical method. <laughs> Charlene. So, how many splinters in my, in my claws? I mean, it's made of wood, or is wood particles with it? It's made of steel, it's made of fire. What else is made out of wood? Witches! <laughs> Burn her! Don't break, gentlemen! Yeah, so fire. Let's try it. Or you could just smash it with your hammer. Your silver hammer. You're gonna need them spells later, boy. Elves, please, what? like a torch. Oh. <laughs> oh. Just hit it with the hammer. Just hit it with the hammer. <laughs> Not my fault you have shitty rolls. So as you slash out with the hammer again, you... Aang is right up there with his with his axe, and you manage to smack him in the wrist uh, for another one damage. Please stop doing this. <laughs> Dog better. Brother, are you drunk? How does this happen? All right, um... Use your claws to hit the dragon. <laughs> Aang, does a 12 hit? Uh, no, it doesn't. Alright, moving on. Uh, tank. Alright, I'm gonna- Alright, I'm gonna just shove my torch <clears throat> through its mouth. Okay, roll to hit. Melee attack. It can be a d20 plus your strength. Alright. Hey. Hit one, just use a maze. Oh my god. <laughs> Rolling. I don't, rolling. I don't believe you. It's rolling to infinite. Ten days later, sitting on a jarling gator. I'm gonna go have dinner and then maybe it'll be done rolling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hope this is a bit too late. They can type who tonight. Oh, that didn't work. I have no idea what. Uh, <laughs> here, what's your what's your strength? Three. All you right, just... so do slash R <clears throat> D twenty plus three. Yeah. I hit that. And... It's just roll twenty. Roll twenty is actually just legged. Yep. Everything. This is awesome. In order to expedite, hey DM, can you roll a twenty? I'm working on it. Oh, there we go. Uh, you rolled a 15, that'll hit. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll take that. That hits. <laughs> yep, you hit. Alright. Uh, Watch improvised, the damage. Improvised damage with the, with the torch. I'll let you roll a d6 and add 2. Alright. <laughs> Hopefully this one goes a little faster. Huh? And I'll roll to see if it catches fire. It catches fire from the inside. Roll! <laughs> It hits for five damage. All right. Uh, it you can see it is lighting up from the inside. It's starting to glow. As fire is licking out from inside of it, its very eyes seem to be boiling. Hey, get out of Chrono. You already know. <laughs> I'm gonna make it rupture from the inside. And then with my off hand. I'm gonna do a strength one because I'm feeling strong. Strong, <laughs> but evidently well, not strong not enough. Strong. But uh, you hit it. Um, everyone, that's all of you. Everyone within five feet, go ahead and roll a dex save. God damn it! I'm sorry. <laughs> oh fuck. Why is mine not showing up? 
There we go. All right, uh, everybody but Chrono. Oh, so Chrono takes half damage. Yay! As it explodes, throwing out splinters of flaming splinters of wood in every direction. I take one. <laughs> All right, well, aim is reduced to one health. Jesus Christ, how low he were was, you? He was down and then just went out, so he so should be dead, but he's not. Jesus. It's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> this is fine. Everything's fine. This happens a lot. Okay. Now I wanna I wanna get in that chest and fail at doing so. No. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna fucking look at everything. Red potion he found. I think we're gonna be resting soon, so maybe you should wait. Hint. I thought we had things to do tonight, but oh, uh, never mind. Things well, we have now. 12 bells, so. Alright, uh, give me one second. The music just stopped. There we go. Alright. Um, Chrono, you were investigating the desk. In the desk, you find 450 gold pieces, <laughs> um, two rings, what the uh, fuck? and a potion of healing. So, potion of healing. Uh, what kind of rings are these? Well, they, they look like sim simple silver bands. <laughs> like the two that I found earlier? Like the two that you found earlier. Okay, four silver it. rings. Cool. Uh, what about these keys? Oh, yeah, of course. You find those keys as well. I thought you were already tracking that is since that, you said you found them earlier. Is that just uh, jail keys? They... They look like they might match some of the locks in the area. Okay, I'm just going to write jail keys. <clears throat> Jarlene, you are working on fixing him up. As you approach, you recognize him as a beaten and bloodied version of Joe. Well, in that case... Joe! Yeah, try and give my last, my last healing potion to him. Get him back to his feet. Uh, I'm gonna go over and talk to this guard. Sorry, after that. with me just yep, one yep, yep. second. Roll twenty is not doing what I want it to do. No healing. There we go. Alright, only took four attempts. Um, it looks like it heals Joe somewhat, but he still looks like he's gonna be out of the fight. Uh, he looks at you and says, "Jarlene, what are you doing here?" <laughs> Jarlene. Uh, what are you doing down here? How'd they capture you in the first place? Come on. Man. Uh, they they took me from behind. Took six of them to get me. Uh, I, it's it's Nora. It's the Duchess. She's after the Duke and the child. All right. I'll get them back for you. You know where they're at? I know up. Up above somewhere. The last I heard... Prince Leo was, he was in his room on the, the third story, the third floor, and I heard Nora saying something about the sky. It's so, uh, <laughs> being tortured, or did they tell me to gear on him? No, he's, he's naked. I just couldn't find a better character to drop down there. Okay. Naked. <clears throat> Is his gear in the room? You don't see any. The uh, only thing you see are torture instruments over here. <clears throat> All right, uh, Tank, you said you're investigating her armor? Yes, it's, it's, it's fit. Tankred. fit. Fit Tankred? So you want the small woman's armor to fit the giant lizard man? All right, well... I'm going to yeah. have to say no on that one. All right, time to stack corpses now, then. I <laughs> am going to tell Tankred not to stack that one, and I'm going to talk to this guy. Uh, all right, he says, who are you? Thank you so much for taking care of them. Who are you? I'm I'm one of the guards. My name's Yosefat. One moment. I'm just gonna go over here and ask Joe if he knows Yosefat. Yeah, Yosefat. He's he was one of my lieutenants. Ugh. Is he is he okay? It looks like he's okay. He's in the next cell over. I just didn't want to free another evil thing. Of course. I'll I'll let him out. So I'll unlock it. Okay. And 
as he comes out, he is very grateful. Cool. Do you, do you want to tend to your captain? Like, Joe? Joe's alive? He's alive. Not doing Where that. Is he? Take, take me to him. And I pitter-patter over here, passing the giant dragon. Joe! Josephette! Joe, I... I must get you out of here. No! Uh, I can... I can still fight. Uh, <laughs> Give him the rings back. Give him what? Give him the rings back, Chrono. What do these rings do? Roll an arcana check. <laughs> There's two rings, there's two prisoners, it's probably connected. You identify them as rings of protection, plus one. So I I have four fucking rings of protection? Yes. Nope, not giving these up. Sorry, Jarlene, you can have one. Done. So I'll give Jarlene one of my rings of protection. And just Jarlene, because Jarlene's the only one that saw. <laughs> and I'll put the other one on. Uh, and I'll keep two in my bag. Yosefat says... Captain, I understand you want to fight, but we, we need to break contact and live again to fight another day. Damn you, Charlene. <laughs> <laughs> Joe luck. agrees. Uh, and Joe looks at you, Charlene, can you, can you handle this one without me? Yeah, I got this. I am, I am grateful. I'll go try to get the last time. I'll go try to find others to help. And Josephat carries Joe on his back out toward... Uh, well, they first they ask, how'd you guys get in here? I'm gonna wave the axe and go, well, how do you think? Did you fight your way from the, from the main floor? Yep. Well, I guess we have to go up the stairs then. I, I just got a question real quick. <laughs> If I put on the other two rings that I have, do I get one? Stack. Damn it! <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Let me get Joseph at my uh, war axe to spare what I have. And he gratefully takes it. Uh, I'm going to give Joseph at the plate armor that I stole. He takes a, ten minutes to don it, and it's, uh, it looks like he might be able to defend Captain Joe. Um, and then, am I able to... Would I fit inside this woman's armor since I'm a little tiny half-elf? It is also plate armor, um, but yes. Is it special plate armor? It is just plate armor that is now dented and beat up from the fight. Mm. I'll just grab it. But I'm not going to okay. don it as of yet. <coughs> okay. Um, and then I'm going to check her for anything else that she might have other than... Uh, she had a longsword, uh, and that was it. Okay, I'll take her longsword and um, just hold on to it. I'm going to take the door leading out and see if we can get out of here. Uh, it is locked, but the keys that Jarlene grabbed uh, that work. Chrono grabbed? Cr Chrono grabbed. Uh, I unlocked the door. It is open. Yay. Oh, God. I already see a woman. <laughs> and a man. <laughs> Big voice for a shout. Jarlene coming. All right. Rolling shift. God damn it, Jarlene. <laughs> we could have snuck up on him. Actually, we're just going to continue with the initiative that you guys had when you first started combat in this room, because he is part of that route. Okay. He's walking right outside. Uh, and so that would put us at Aang. He was next up in that route. Got it. Well, now Aang is going to drink that magical potion that he found. All right. That'll be an, uh, that is a greater potion of healing. Uh, so that'll give you 44 plus so 16, 20. You just fucked up. <laughs> that would have been so useful later on. I don't want that. I mean, it sounds pretty useful now, too, so... Sounds yeah. like a normal potion of healing would have done I mean... him well. Alright, so Aang's at 21 now, and Rain and Rearin, um... Wait, your max health is 21? No. Okay. That healed you for 44. I thought you said it healed me for 20 something. 4d4 four four plus 4, that's 20. Oh, oh he okay. Was at one, Never so mind. He's at 21 now. Never mind. I heard something different. You were at 44. Yeah, yeah I'm right. retarded. Don't mind yeah, me. No, 4d4 four plus I 4. I don't know My math. math. I, I don't enunciate goodly. Math. Right. Aang's going to move and 
So, so the potion, drinking the potion does count as an action since I can get okay. you guys full on them. Okay, then Aang's gonna... Stay where he is? <laughs> so, as Red. you guys walked in here, you did see that these uh, structures in the center are cages uh, with stone benches in them, so they are impassable, but you can see through them. Got it. Friday, they should start it on Friday. I'm going to go over here. Why is the music not working again? It's working. I have like dungeon music going. Yeah, but that's not the what I wanted. I mean, I blame Jarlene. It was Jarlene. 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 All right. <laughs> Actually, I was going for a little more Alice in Chains kind of look, but that works. Okay. Uh, Tank, you're up. All right, I'm gonna just approach this man and classic. That that hits. Not well. It it, it glances off of him, but it, it hurts him a little bit. It shakes him. You know. Uh, he's going to turn to you, uh, and he's going to slash at you with his mace, um, and he fails with both of his attacks. Chrono. Uh, I'm going to run up behind Tankred and Psychic Blade, the booty hole. <laughs> booty hole. That's a hit. And I'm assuming we don't get any sneak attack stuff on this one. No. Then I'll do my follow up. So 15 total. Right, 15 damage. Oof. Yeah, he. It looks like he suddenly has a, a migraine. He holds his head, uh, and blood starts to leak from his ears. Sounds like a disadvantage. <laughs> Charlene. Can't really get any better. You could scoot past us and then move away after you kill him. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. I'll have one spot there. That's a hit. Hammer smash! <laughs> Jarlene crush. Jarlene coming. Uh, oh. As you strike him on the shoulder, his, his whole arm goes completely limp and he falls down to his knees, uh, still holding his head. Give me one last look, look to the eyes, then. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that, that really, really hits. And, I mean, the fact that we only have one health, you wasted that 20, but hey. It's alright. Overkill. Overkill. <laughs> He's uh, definitely dead. You want? Did you do anything special to him? Uh, I cleaned, I got the uh, slitters out of my fingers in his head. <laughs> There's fucking stuff stuck in the skull. Did you use the splinters as the poke? <laughs> Is going to blood again? Uh, Probably. A small amount, yes. Brothers. <laughs> I need an armor cleaner. Jesus. Um, once he's dead, I'm going to jump over to here because I saw this lady sitting in here. Um, am I able to open the door? Uh, you are able to open the door, and inside you find a dead... It looks like a, she was a cook. Oh my lord, she is dead. Uh, I'm, dead. <laughs> I want to rustle through her pockets. Yeah. You find grabs. nothing. No Tank, notes? Damn. I'm grabbing a mace. You're taking his mace, Tank? Yep. Is it anything okay. special? It's a, it's a mace. Alright. It does mace things. It does mace things. Oh. What about in here? Is that another dead person? I'm done trying to make music work. This is just getting obnoxious. Uh, All right. uh, a lot of people rolled things at once, so we'll go in order. Uh, Jarlene, what were you doing? I was trying to keep check his body on his mace. Okay, uh, on his body he has a set of um, scale armor uh, that seems dented and kind of worn. Uh, nothing else. Yeah, not worth it. All right, Chrono, you were investigating what now? <laughs> I want to Got see it, if uh, that's a dead person. Uh, it is. It looks like she was a maid, um, and she is also dead. I want to rifle through her pockets. All right. Uh, she has been thoroughly searched. Uh, you find a a piece of string binding her hair into a ponytail. 
I want to um, take it. <laughs> of course you do. And then her clothes. I'll leave the clothes. I just want the string. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no wonder why that's all I found. <laughs> all right. Um, and then I'm just going to go back and also fleece this guy's shit. Not you literally. Find... His shit. Uh, he's already been searched by two people. You find nothing else. Cool. Um, <clears throat> is So wait. This is Attacking a... The corpses. I can't tell. So mm -hmm. is this a door? These yes. are bars, bars, door? Yes. So this is a, a door with bars on either side, um, which is why you can see through it. This is a solid door. Here you see windows um, into the rooms beyond. And of course, a door with bars flanking. It's kind of hard to meet a perfect jail with this system. Um, with the jail key, am I able to unlock this one? You are. I will open it. It is open. And I'll unlock both of these doors, assuming the jail key works. It does. Inside, you find desks that look like they might belong to guards who are on duty. Um, I'm going to ruffle through uh, this desk. On my side. Just on the opposite side. Okay. Colonel, you find an, uh, it looks like a logbook detailing the um, processing of prisoners. Um, you can see before yesterday, there was almost no entries, very few entries, and usually for vagrancy or attempted larceny, and they're let go very shortly. Uh, but starting yesterday, the logbook is just full of people who have been processed through here, many of them marked as uh, dead. Ah. <clears throat> I think I figured uh, out how they got inside. Jarlene, you find uh, a couple scraps that don't really say much on them. They're just little scribbled notes. Uh, and it looks like some leftover uh, bread. Shit, yeah. Snacks. I'll take the bread. Snacks. <laughs> I'll try and unlock this one. All right. Too many things. It opens. What the fuck is this? As you guys come in, why have no, all my walls just disappeared? I I, so, I see walls. Do you? It's yeah. I also see okay. dead people. Yeah, so these are all just bars that you can see through now. They weren't before, but now they are. You can see right through them into cells. Um, you see uh, a dead, looks like guard here. Um, and over here you see two people living in chain to walls. Okay, uh, can we start questioning them, asking them who they are, why they're here? Sure, are you opening the door, I'm assuming? No. No? All right. Um, you ask them who they are, and uh, the guy on the right responds, I'm, I'm, uh, 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 the, uh, the guy on the left said, he doesn't speak well, I'm sorry. Uh, Sounds like me. I am Marcus, that is Mikhail. Uh, we used to be um, stewards, not stewards, but, uh, hand servants to the duke why are you down here well when the duchess's men came around uh they gave us a choice betray the duke or end up here how well, come you're not dead but that's a great question they've been going around grabbing people out of cells questioning them and killing them i always assumed we were next and they just haven't come yet who are you I'm here to save the day, and I'll unlock the door. All right, they're still chained to the wall. Uh, uh, say, they ask, but save the day. How'd you get? Did you, did you stop them? So far, but I think we have more to do. So I'm gonna let you and your uh, friend go here, assuming one of the keys works for unlocking their chains. They do. Uh, so they look very grateful. Uh, they say, is the way out safe? Uh, there is a way out. Um, you need to go all the way up to the northeast tip of the uh, jail. There will be a passageway that you can go through, a dark tunnel, and you'll come out of uh, Regalio's house, if you know who that is. <clears throat> but I would not go through the castle itself. We have not gotten past the jail. Th thank you so much. Blessings. And the man comes and gives you a, a hug. Oh, God. Uh, and you feel warmth spread through you. My butthole. Um, not quite, but you do feel inspired. I feel inspired! 
Um, okay, and then I guess I'll... Un... <laughs> yes, you felt like your heart grew three sizes that day. Mm -hmm. I'll unlock and then uh, check this dude's... I'm assuming is in armor. Uh, it's actually a female. She is in armor. Um, she has an empty scabbard. It looks like she was uh, stabbed through the center, causing a big hole in her armor and dragged down there, just kind of thrown in there to slowly die. And she is dead. Nothing else on her at all? Uh, except for the pierced armor and the scabbard. She has a ribbon in her hair tying it into a ponytail. I'll take the ribbon. Okay. Um, I think that covers this room, gents. Uh, sure, Tankrid. Do your creepy thing. Jarlene, you said what? Oh, no, I'm just fucking around. Um, okay. Can I tell what this is from here? Uh, it looks like it's just a, a, bo a crate that has a, a lid that's open. Uh, okay, I guess I'll unlock the door, go in, and look inside the crate. It's an empty crate. That looks like a good place to put bodies. Um, <laughs> and then I guess we'll head upstairs. Anybody else want to do anything down here? Traitors don't get buried. I'm going to go to the stairs myself. Brother! Brother! Brother. Rest. Um, what time is it currently? Uh, you're unsure, but you think it's somewhere around three bells. Three bells. Um, do we just need a short rest? Uh, wait, how many is hell's fuzzy? Are, okay, are, are you, any of you about to die? Tancred? I'm oh, almost, but not quite. What, what are you at? I think, uh, yeah, 20. You're fine. Let's keep going. Did, you guys took one short rest at the... No, you didn't. Okay. Never mind. We're good. Carry on. I say we go up. If we have another encounter, perhaps we should rest at that point. You guys going yep. up then? Yep. Hey, can you stop moving your character tokens for just a moment? No! <laughs> You're not my real dad. <laughs> Alright, I'm missing someone. Where the hell did Ang go? He's, He's, He's in stairs. We're all here, Daddy. There you are. Okay, great. Doom, doom, doom. By the way, Tankred does funeral. Tankred does funeral? <laughs> is that what you said? Yep. Those stacking corpses are what it is. You feel very pleased with yourself. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, you guys uh, enter into here, and you see what looks like a, a, a desk that someone would stand duty at. On the desk, there is a placard that says, a guard on duty has no friends. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'll, I'll check his uh, his book. His log book uh, logs what? the comings and goings of different guards and their prisoners. Uh, n no logs, or no entries have been made within the last couple hours. Okay. Um, you see a door to your right, a door to your north, and some crates here. I'm going to pilfer the crates. All right, roll investigation. Have I been in this part of the castle before? You find that they have chunks of linen and just uh, bits of odds and ends in them. Uh, Jarlene, what did you say? Have I been in this part of the castle before? In a previous campaign or anything? Yeah. No. Damn it. Um, are these Tank, doors locked? Uh, Tank, you, as you're listening to the, or as you look at the door, you find nothing special about it. And as you're listening, you hear some, uh, shuffling on the other side. I want to prepare my weapons to attack in case something pops up when we open the door. Okay. Terrific. All right. <laughs> Very specific. Two yes. psychic blades, both hands. <laughs> So if something comes to the door, you will attack it. If I deem it as a threat, i.e. anything that's not Joe or the Duke. All right. Terrific. Uh, what are you guys doing? Going through the door or? You make a noise and get them in here. Let's get that door. So the door then? Yeah. I, I, um, I think we could just open it. <laughs> you could have, but instead um, the door splinters to pieces and you see two guards inside what looks like a barracks. Um, this gentleman here jumps up 
uh, to his feet. He looks like he was rummaging through his chest. And this one sits up out of bed. He was dead asleep, but now he's wide awake. Everyone roll initiative. But don't I get my preps? You said if something came through the door, <laughs> no. then you would attack Oh my him. god. But is, what, is that not what he said? Well, we did... We did Whatever. breach the door, so technically we have an issue. Whatever. I would say they're surprised from seeing the door be burst open. Uh, I mean, I, just roll initiative. You guys will get surprise round. Don't worry. Surprise round so of terrible rolling. <clears throat> Stop smashing doors, Jarlene. You can't tell what to do. I will be your dad. <laughs> Darlene angry. <laughs> All right, so uh, Tank, you're going to go ahead and have the initiative. All right. I'm going to try to grapple this chest looking guy. Let's hope he doesn't work. What? Okay, let's go. Right. I try to grapple the chest guy. And he is able to repel your grapple. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, uh, that brings us next to Charlene. I'm gonna sneak around the backside of this guy. Traders get the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Burning inspiration on this one. Just because he said something cool. <laughs> yep. Oh, that, that hits. That, that hits. All right, <clears throat> that one does not. I didn't think so. But the first one hit, uh, and he lets out a, a loud grunt and go as you hit him with the uh, the hammer. Uh, that brings us down to Chrono. You already know. Psychic blade. <laughs> That's a hit. Okay. And then I'll do my off. And he falls dead. Wait, which one are you going for? Uh, the top one or the bottom one? This one first. He falls dead to the ground. Okay. And I move up here and I throw the other blade offhand style. Oh, that doesn't look like it hits. It does not hit. Uh, but since he's trying to get up out of bed, you can have advantage against him. Okay. That hits. Haha, six damage. <clears throat> All right. I miss the music. Uh, Aang, it's your turn. Fast monks get all the way up to here. And do a running nunchuck. Running nunchuck. Running it, nunchuck. It will hit. Oh, okay. prison name. Oh, I'm sorry. What? I lied to you. Doesn't hit. I was looking okay, at one of your guys' ACs. Yeah, that's a little hit. That one will hit. <laughs> All right. Uh, between, yep, he takes some damage. Uh, he looks dazed and confused and hurt and sad and angry all at the same time. It's a very confusing time for him. All right. At that moment. Um, this door up above you guys to the north flies open, and out comes a very tall, very heavily armored man, donning a helmet as he walks through the door, shouting, Get out of my barracks! Taller than the tank. Uh, he moves forward. Yeah. What? Get out of my barracks! Yeah. <laughs> Get out of my dungeon. No. All right. I am the barracks. Uh, you don't want to be the barracks. Bad things happen in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Take that armor mine. All right. Uh, he walks forward, and he takes a couple slashes at Tank. Uh, Tank does a 22 hit. That <laughs> All right. Uh, he slashes at you with his great sword, dealing you minimal damage. Three. That's All terrific. Right. Nice. All right. Uh, at this point, the guard that's laying on, or that was laying on the bed, stands up, and he takes a swing 
at um, Aang with his spear. Uh, does a 14, 15 hit. 15 hits. All right. And he stabs you with a spear for a grand total of two damage. Because I'm rolling so well. All right, Tank. It's on you. Mm -hmm. All I can do is this. Does it hit? It does not hit. All right. Hmm. I'm gonna burn my inspiration. Can I do one more then? Yeah. All right. Oh shit. <laughs> that also does not hit. Ooh. Ooh, that sucks. Ooh. <laughs> I am exhausted, brothers. <laughs> I can't dim. Oh, love it. Jarlene, you're up. Yep. I'm gonna move back behind him and, uh, come on, hammer him, tell me now. It's a hit. All right. It's a big hit. Let's try to get that helmet off him with the claws. <laughs> the back of the neck. You're gonna try to remove his helmet. Yeah, with my you, claws. You barely hit him. Uh, his helmet lifts, and you do scratch his neck, but he's able to shake it back down. I'm a coward's knee of armor. <laughs> You're made of armor. <laughs> armor is the cloth, brother. <laughs> Grono, you're up. Did Aang actually hit this dude? Aang did. Someone hit that dude. I did. Yeah, Aang hit him with a... Didn't you hit him with your fist and yeah, you punched him? I hit him with a stiff right hook. Okay. So four damage? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my primary psychic blade, throw it at him, and then I'm going to use my offhand on him. Terrific. Roll hits. Shit. You hit the main guy, uh, and instead it flies into... Um, Hold on, inspiration. Charlie. Okay. Using that immediately. <laughs> Spend it if you got it, right? Yeah. That's a hit. Okay, so nine damage on him. And then I'll throw my offhand one at uh, Spear Boy. That's Four. also a hit. He's dead. Sweet. Um, and then I'll kind of move over to this direction and orient myself facing Big Boy. As you chuck your uh, your purple blade, it goes right into his forehead, melting into his head, and he just gets big wide eyes and falls to the ground. Uh, Aang, you're up. <clears throat> All right, back to where he was, and whackety whack whack. This guy. The, I'm sorry, this isn't Tuesday night, man. <laughs> oh, that's a twenty. That'll do. Uh, that's a definite hit. That's a big hit. Big hit. Big moves. Big moves. <laughs> big money, no whammies. All right. And try to punch some guy in full armor. <laughs> it, you fail to punch him. <laughs> Wait, none chucks the ground, right? He didn't what? fall to the ground. So did he get a good advantage because the enemy's prone? He's not prone. You oh, said that he clutched his head and fell to the yeah, ground. Yeah, the, the guard over here. No, no. You said it no. when it went into his head, he clutched it and went to the ground. He said he's dead. No, so he's I described dead. the death of this guy. We all oh, wow. definitely heard it otherwise, but okay, DM. You rule the world. <laughs> you know how it works. I do. Thank you for understanding. <laughs> all right. Uh, the knight is going to go ahead and take a swing at Aang. Uh, he misses dismally. He takes a swing at Tank. Tank does a 17 hit. Yep. All right. <clears throat> but, however, if I use this. <laughs> okay, so he has to roll again with the disadvantage. disadvantage. Mm -hmm. He misses the heck out of you. Ta da! Flash bang! Ta da! <laughs> Solar flare! All right. Pockets flare! <laughs> uh, that puts us at tank. It's your turn. All right. I don't know I how tank's it. at the top of the round. This is insane. 
Got to hit his head with a mace. It misses. Dang it. Damn. <clears throat> Anything else, Tank? Nope. Oh, Tanker, do you have advantage, though? You're flanking with Charlene. Roll again. Oh. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't. Nope. It also misses. <laughs> All right, Charlene, it's your turn. Doop. Yeah, hit. 25. All right. Uh, Part two. You also hit. And uh, you killed him by sinking our claws into him. 13. Yeah, har! As you uh, rip out a bit of his spinal column. Uh, oh, God. Claws, he falls to the ground limp. The helmet's mine. I you're, more than welcome to, you're more than welcome to claim his helmet if you would like, Charlie. And tank would roll investigation. Does it come with head? Oh, God. If no. you'd like. Nasty. Uh, Tancred, you see that he does have armor on. Um, it is armor that would fit you if you want. Um, it is. You wear heavy armor, right? No medium. Medium? Yep. All right. So we're going to say that it is half plate. It half is a half plate, plate set of armor. Gonna take that. Yeah, I'm, I'm nice like that. Uh, Chrono, mm. which chest are you looking in? Okay. That one. Uh, you find some unmentionables, a change of clothes, uh, a very fancy looking tunic. This guy might have liked to go out on the town, and a uh, little uh, coin purse containing 12 silver. Uh, Jarlene, what are you investigating? Big boy chest here. Uh, you find some missives. It looks like he isn't very good at the writing, um, <laughs> but horrible. he's trying really hard. Uh, and so you you see a couple of poorly written missives with an ink uh, quill, or uh, pardon me, a quill and ink on the desk. Um, nothing else special about the desk. Oh, there's a candle right here. But Ooh. burning it. <laughs> All right. What are the rest of you guys doing? I'm gonna investigate Ooh. over here. Anchor is too wary. Okay, Ang, are you doing anything? Not really. I'm just kind of like trying to look around, see what there is to see. Okay, Chrono, uh, you see a, a desk, or pardon me, a table that has a couple weapons on it. it looks like there is a, a hand axe, a dagger, a, a, a long sword, and a shield. I'll take the hand axe and dagger. Okay. And if no one else is doing anything, I'll investigate this thing over here. It's a pile of crates. It looks like they're empty. It looks like the soldiers stacked them there uh, for target practice. They have slashes and hacks in them. Oh, weird. Um, I'll loot this. Anybody fucker. else doing anything? Heading out to the next door. This is how you guys miss things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on that guard, you find uh, a small pouch that has uh, uh, five silver in it. Um, nothing else except for his pike because he was sleeping. Um, he was, hadn't even completely donned all of his armor. I want to check all of the bed chest. They all are filled with random uh, pieces of personal clothing, uh, sketches. One of them has some uh, a pair of knitting needles and some yarn. Does anyone have any notes from their mother? No notes from mothers. <laughs> Damn it. <clears throat> I'm going to um, get to Big Boy's room again real fast then. Yeah, I'm also... What are you looking at, Charlene? Ooh. So is this thing to my right a uh, shelf or with a sword on it? This is a ca uh, yeah a wardrobe that has a, sh a sword just casually placed on top. Is that a we ladder that, that goes up? What, where, where is this ladder? What? Right above the sword. There's like It looks yeah. like a ladder. No, that's a chest. Oh, okay. Um, Jarlene, you, the, what are you investigating? Are you investigating the sword or the... The wardrobe. The wardrobe. As you open it, it has a ton of fancy sashes, uh, like, of every color and type. Uh, it looks like this man thought he was very fancy with his sashes. Okay. I bet you and the tunic uh, guy probably had a thing. <laughs> uh, Chrono, you open the chest, and it is also full of sashes. Just, I mean, just piles and piles of sashes. 
I want to take the, his collection of slashes from the wardrobe, and I want to take, take, out, take out his sword. Uh, are you taking the sword? Yeah. All right. Uh, as you grab the sword, you notice that it is a silvered long sword. Ooh, okay. I want to check out his nightstand that has this dagger on it. All right. Um, in the nightstand, you find uh, it looks like a, a book that has very big letters and short words. <laughs> um, and the dagger is a silvered dagger. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, fuck guy. Use phonics too. Uh. <laughs> So would this be just dagger plus one, or do I just custom item this one? So it's just a silver dagger. It's not a plus one. That just means it can attack things that are incorporeal that are usually immune to piercing or slashing damage. Okay, I'll replace my dagger with that one. And Tankard, those pissed. weapons have already been investigated. All that's ah, left shield. is a long sword and a shield. Oh, look at that. Boom. Oh, uh, just normal shield? Yep, normal shield, normal long sword. Oh, flip his bed. You gonna flip his bed? Oh, yeah. wow, that's aggressive. Um, I'm going to check out his fucking desk. It's already been investigated. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, you flip that bed, and you find that it has not been swept under. His sergeant major would be very unhappy if he came looking through the room. Lazy, stupid, good fight. What's the point? <laughs> um, I'm going to go over here and open this door. All right, anybody else doing anything while, before he opens that door? I'm okay. tired well. Right. As you open the door, you see that it is a hallway that's approximately 30 feet long, 5 feet wide. It has doors uh, kind of running down either side of it, and a door on the end, and it kind of opens to the right. Once it, the hallway turns to the right, pardon me. I want to open this door. All right. Inside, you see what looked like uh, they were chambers for servants. Um, nothing special, poorly maintained linens, uh, a little chamber pot. And uh, a chest here. I'm going to investigate the chest. All right, you open the chest and you find dust. Oh, fucking phenomenal. <clears throat> Anybody? Uh, so what are the rest of you guys doing? I see um, Tank, what are you up to? Oh, probably going to investigate this door right here. Well, really? investigation. Before you check all the other doors? Uh, you find that it is a door. <laughs> there is nothing crazy about it. It's a well, it, I mean, like all the other things in this area, it looks like it, it was very well crafted, but not super well maintained. Um, it's just a door. Do you want to open it? Not yet. Okay. Just gonna wait. I'll open this door. You're going to open the door? Yep. Or as you open it, you see it is also another room that looks like servants uh, lived in it. It has a, a crate that looks like it's being used for a table, another chamber pot, uh, and the bed is. Uh, Again, just crappy bed. Very fun. I'll open this left door. I'll get ready. The same. And then I'll open this right door. <laughs> Over here, it looks like uh, a storage for some kind of barrels um, that are very old and well-worn. A couple of crates and an empty basket. Lovely. I'm checking the barrels. All I right. As you open the barrels, you see that they're all full of mead. Mm, mead. Hang. Hang yeah. here. Got Hang's some coming. Money. I'm going to toss him a barrel. You toss him a whole barrel? <laughs> Hang, roll a strength save. Yep, or, or a deck save. You choose. Oh. Dodge or catch. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a catch for Aang. You catch this barrel like a beast, and as you hold it, uh, you can smell the honeyed mead, kind of just the scent of it barely eking out through the oak. The egg starts drinking. <laughs> just gonna hold the barrel or the whole barrel up. <laughs> yes, it's all like eight <laughs> seconds of drinking. <laughs> He's thirsty. I kick open this door. Inside, you find another storage area. It looks like a whole pile of crates and boxes over here, and just random loose containers, sacks, things of that nature. I'm going to investigate over in this area specifically. Okay. I don't know. It just looks like there might be something fun. You find unground flour. Yeah. Um, ground flour, uh, chunks of wheat, uh, chunks of barley, a little sack of hops. Hmm. 
But Tancred, you find a myriad of boxes containing everything from bits of loose, loose um, cloth to a couple pots and pans, uh, just random household goods. Hmm. There's a trap door under there, I'm sure of it. I'm gonna break one. I'm gonna break the crates. <laughs> okay. Um, you start breaking crates. Uh, it's gonna take you probably five minutes to break them all. I want to kick this door open too. The store right here. Yep. Terrific. As you open it, uh, you see another room full of barrels uh, with a kind of opening over this way. Hmm. There's a lot of barrels in here. Yeah, it's it's pretty different when you're not being chased by everybody on the floor, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna prepare my uh, psychic blades, both of them, for when I see an enemy, regardless of them coming at me or me coming at them, that I will unleash a psychic attack at them. All right. So you will l unleash your blades at the first enemy you see, if you see an enemy. Yes, enemy. Great. Got it. I am track lacking. Just on this floor currently. Oh, hold on. Everyone move back just a little bit. Back to, back a little bit more. Who was the first one to cross this point? Oh, Which no, point? no. Which point? Right here. Uh, I can't see you clicking anything. Oh, Try again? Okay. Yeah, I'm not All saying right. shit. So who was the first one to cross right here? That'd be yeah, me. Alright, so, so Chrono stayed there. Aang, you were right behind him. Yeah. And uh, Tank, you were somewhere in this region, right? Okay. Yeah, I was here right here. Um, Great. Uh, go ahead and everyone roll a deck save. Son of a... <laughs> that wasn't very good. Actually, it was. Never mind. Mine shows a 14. I'm really confused why it says 7. <laughs> What's under the crates? Uh, stone floor. Okay. Um, I don't fucking know. Whatever. So we had. You said you you said your original was a fourteen, Chrono. It was showing a fourteen on my screen, but it said seven, okay. so I don't know. We'll, we'll go with the fourteen. Um, Ang rolled an eighteen. Great. Everybody but Ang takes full damage. Ang, you take half. Uh, Is that being here now? Bad things. Really? Oh, I'm about to die. <laughs> oh, Geraldine, it's time for your heal. All right. So oh, as wow. Walking across there, uh, he he trips just very lightly over a small piece of wire, and as he does, um, this crate right here explodes, uh, dealing damage to all three of you. Geraldine wasn't in the area, so. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna immediately uh, drink one of my health potions. Okay. So that's 10, right? That is 10, yes. Okay. Um, and at that moment, a guard comes rushing around and yells, Hey! Psychic blades! Yep. Hey. Hey, yourself. Ooh. Well, your psychic blade did not hit, but it was a good try. Well, let's see what that offhand one does. <laughs> that one hits. Yay. It does hit, and it deals him seven damage. <clears throat> All right, everyone roll initiative. Jesus, Jarlene. Hey. You're back. Do my best. <laughs> All right. Uh, the guard, um, he levels his spear and he hucks it at Chrono. Chrono does a 14 hit. Uh, no. All right. Terrific. That means Chrono, it's your turn. Um, hey, why do you have a fist icon? Because he's fisting. <laughs> Come on. You should have known better. I should have. I should have. All right. Uh, I'll try and psychic blade him again. Doesn't look like that one worked. 
and I'll try and offhand it. It actually so unworked that you hit uh, Aang in front of you. Sorry, Aang. You was gave him a pile of heading damage. Range oh. but it's, it's psychic. So well, you can't catch it. I'll do seven with the other one. Uh, and the guard falls dead to the ground. So he actually hasn't been hit physically, has he? No. He just suddenly falls and no one understands why. It's a very quiet fall. Um, let's see, everyone's passive. Okay, great. Um, right then. <laughs> and then. <laughs> and then. Uh, three figures fall from the ceiling. Um, Ninja. Hi, I'm Ninja. And. Ninjas, heretics. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, this one is going to take a strike at Aang. He has. Uh, He's sneaking, uh, has stealth, so he's going to get a bonus. Uh, sorry, advantage. 16. Yep. I think Aang's right. about to be dead. At the 16, he will hit you for 4 damage uh, as he swings at you with his sword. Um, this Yahoo here also has advantage since he is surprising you. Chrono, um, I'm assuming a 9 does not hit. No. All right. In fact, can and I pimp slap him in anger? <laughs> not this time. Uh, a tank does a 16 hit. Oh. All right. <clears throat> so that brings us around. Now the uh, sneak it round is over. Bring it around town. This guy gets his t actual turn. Uh, he is one. He does not hit Aang. <laughs> And that brings us to this guy here. He's going to try another hit at Chrono. Bitch. He fails so dismally that he actually ends up slapping his buddy and dealing him damage. <laughs> <laughs> These are new uh, ninjas. And it is Aang's turn. Aang is going to lash out with the good old nunchucks that he so recently found. I thought it was fisting time. This is how you fucking ninja. Uh, and then, and then he doesn't hit. Fisting oh. ninjas? Well, wow. Wow. <laughs> oof, oof, oof. That's uh Did he just kind of pimp slapped by his buddy? <laughs> also don't try to punch a ninja. Do it. Punch the ninja. Ninja on ninja hate crime here. That uh <laughs> that hits. Off. Alright. Uh he he looks like he's hurting a little bit. You can see that uh He's limping, kind of holding his side, uh, where you hit him with a nunchuck. Uh, yeah. Solid slap. Solid slap. He does not look too good. All right. This guy here is going to go ahead, and he's going to move this way. Tanker, you get an attack of opportunity on him. All right. Brother! <laughs> oh, I forgot to do their sneak attack damage. Lucky you guys. Woo. Well, they didn't. Hit anybody? I got, I got hit. Yeah, and got hit. Oh. Uh, tank that hits. Roll damage. All right. What the hell was that? All right. So this guy, uh, he is flanking Chrono. Uh, so he gets advantage. Uh, but he, uh, I'm assuming a 14 doesn't hit. No. Didn't think so. Tank, it's your turn. He's gonna just suck. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> gonna just charge up to this ninja and then smack him with maze. Oh god. Good hit. hit. That's a solid hit, friend. Why do I always get like so low of him? Because you're, you're weak. <laughs> your bloodline is weak. All right. Are you doing anything else, man? Nope. All right. That brings us to Charlie. Charlie. What did you do? Yeah, as you come out the door, you see that uh, the smoke is clearing from a giant explosion. You hear the sounds of combat, people screaming. You hear Aang shouting in rage. It's just not good. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get myself between these two ninjas, because now I can actually see the enemies. <clears throat> I'm going to take a swing at the uh, guy to my right with the hammer. What's your movement speed? 30. 
One. I count with six squares. Okay, I'll give it to you. So you were you were cracking boxes for five minutes while they moved on, but I'll <laughs> let you come into their rescue. I don't need no rescue. <laughs> and you said you're going for the guy on the right. Yeah. All right. You gonna do your claws? Yep. Just wait for it to load. Same guy. Yep. A hit. All right. Oh, Jesus. Just wrecking shop over here. All right, Chrono. I'm all psychic blade. Nobody with that one. Yourself. I'm off. Well, no, it's not that bad. I'll follow up with my other one uh, going for this guy, bottom left, five damage. Okay. Five damage to. Do I have advantage at him at all? No. no. Okay. Not at all. Not even a little. Okay. I think you had your hands switched. Your off hand's always better. You might just have to swap your around. He's, he's been raised his whole life that so he's a righty, but in reality. <laughs> I'm a lefty. Your dicks. <laughs> All right, this guy's gonna go ahead and take a swing at Chrono. Uh, Chrono does a twenty-four hit. Yeah, I'd say oh, that's okay. a, I'd say that's a solid. I'm hit. sorry, sorry, right, I missed math twenty-three. Yeah, that's still a solid hit. Okay, just want to make sure. Uh, that. So he hits you for eleven damage. And I'm down. I didn't forget his sneak attack since he's flanking that time. How can he flank when there's two people around him? And I have two it people surrounded me. Around him. He's sandwiching you. That's how flanking works. I feel very secure to my spot, but either way, I'm down. All right. Sounds like a party. Oh, no, no. Uh, this guy is going to attack Jarlene. He's also flanking with advantage. Uh, I'm assuming a 17 doesn't hit. No, yeah, no. You have a 20 AC, right? I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Aang, it's, I tell you. All right, Aang's gonna yeah. whip out the chucks again. Ooh, the chucks. Yeah. Do not. The chucks fail. In rage. The good old fashioned one, two. That hits. So you should just be a pugilist, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you hit him Maybe. for three. He's looking pretty hurt. He's a. Uh, better days. It looks like he has a very small amount of health left. If you could quantify things like health points. Health. I'm I'm running out of ways to be creative to describe damage. I apologize. I'm running out of ways to <laughs> punch people. So. All right. Uh, here, just so we can all be tracking. There we go. Uh, this guy's going to take a swing at Jarlene as well. Um, sure. there. Does he 23 hit? A 23? Yes. Just, yes, finally. Well, thank you. I just wanted to hear that. Yeah. All right. Um, Getting bored. Eight, 13. Hits you for 15. Ow. Okay. Oh, I don't think he just shrugs it off. Okay. 15, cool. No worries. Tank you're up. All right. Good old base. It's a hit. Jesus. Why do you keep rolling ones? Like, seriously. <laughs> it's, that's the I hope roll you, in a row, you've rolled a one for damage. Let me just test it, okay? See, yeah, I mean, this is my luck. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not taking that damage from Tank Grid. There we go. All right. Anything else, man? Nope. Charlene. So, Colonel's down. Aang has her health. Not look. Aang has seen better days. Tank. I am only mother. All right. In that case, how about everyone gets back up with a uh, twenty-eight more health? This is what Bane does for you. Aang <laughs> is. Smash the shield with a hammer once. You said everyone gets 28 health? Uh, everyone, all, all my party members. I, no, I, I was just making sure I heard that all of your guys, so that way they heard. I knew it wasn't my guys, don't worry. Yeah. What <laughs> fucking ability is this? Prayer of healing. What the fuck? The divine right comes. 
Yeah, that's great. Um, Aang's still like uh, debuffed from last session. Well, that so sucks my max to health is only twenty four. So this is fun. <laughs> well, I'm fully fucking healed. For a bonus action, because I can still do that, I'm gonna jab the guy to my right with the claw again real fast. That seems like the yeah, most yeah. busted healing spell I've ever seen in my life, and I love it. Yeah, what level were already. you casting that at? The second level, second level spell. Oh, that's a divinity for life domain. So it's usually two d eight plus your spell casting modifier. What's your spell casting modifier? Six. So sorry, you're right. I can do ten. So instead, it's twenty two health. Okay. This close enough. Same deal. It's okay. Twenty two health's nice. <laughs> It's it's busted because I give you guys max heals. Yes. <laughs> it's I I forgot I didn't realize you had that spell so uh, that's gonna be <laughs> things are gonna be a little tougher later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which one were you attacking there, Charlie? One to the right again. One to the right. It's gonna turn this to hard mode. Uh, just, I can break your game once per round, once per session. I love it. I appreciate it. I like surprises. <laughs> Uh, so as you slash at him, you uh, manage to tear off part of his mask, leaving great gouges across his face. Uh, he looks unhappy. Chrono, it's you. Not so pretty now. I'm going to take my rapier, and I'm going to shanky shank. Uh, which which was the one that downed me? Was it this guy? Is that one? Yeah, well, I'm gonna this guy doesn't have advantage on you. I'm going to shanky shank him with shanky my rapier. Shanky shank him. What the? So That's sneak it. attack doesn't apply. Uh, eight piercing. Um, and he's dead. And then I'm going to offhand psychic blade, uh, which this is the one that Jarlene just pimp slapped, right? It is. I'm going to... No, off I'm sorry. This one was. Oh. Oh. Well, don't worry. My offhand one didn't hit anyways. Right. Um, and I'm just going to go... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> because That's my thing. <laughs> just like that. Yep. Um, this guy is going to. No, that won't work. Oh, wait. Uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, that's too much. Hmm. What's that? This guy on the left should have, should have a 1d4 more damage. I forgot about that. He attacked me. Oh, because he's a turtle that has Razorbacks. Got it. All right, I'll, I'll let you do the retroactive damage. It's two, it doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> I don't know, it could make a difference somewhere, somehow. <laughs> but not right now. <laughs> well, later someone might just be too short of killing him, and that would have made the difference right there. Yeah, I'll start it. Alright, um... I move up here... No, it's two opportunity attacks, I'm not doing that. Come on. <laughs> yeah, no, ain't gonna happen. She has a high intelligence, so. Uh, oh, anyway, I'm looking at the wrong character. This one's the one that's turn it is. Uh, gonna take a swing at Aang. Aang does a 22 hit. I would say so. That just flew somewhere else. I have no idea. Uh, hits you for four damage. Okay. And. The one down south a little bit. He's going to take a swing at Jarlene and miss. Aang, it's your turn. Aang's going to take 1d4 damage. Oh, yep, 1d4 damage. All right, now Aang, it's your turn. It's 15 hit. I've told you, you should just be a pugilist. Yeah, now he is. <laughs> All right, uh, you managed to devastate that person. Just smash the head against the wall. Uh, uh, blood just splatters all across the wall, kind of reflecting back on you a little bit. A little spray across your face. Your mouth was open. It doesn't taste very good. Uh -huh. Tankard. All right, so who's alive and who's dead? That's a great question, isn't it? You might want to know that. <laughs> I think this is the only one that's alive. Yeah. Oh. It is. Well done. One day I'll get used to doing this digitally and not just flipping tokens over. <laughs> uh, did it pop up? Yeah, the two that are dead are marked. I mean, does it hit? Oh, yes, that hits. I apologize. 
Is there oh. a yellow line right here that you guys can see? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that was a rope. No, that was part of on the GM layer. I have a grid that I made that shows where people take damage from the trap. There oh. you go. <laughs> All right. All right. Four damage. Someone's happy. Very happy. Thank you. Deal, you're dealing four damage. He looks uh, hurt. God. As you hit him with your mace, uh, it smashes into his arm, causing him to fly against the wall a little bit. Uh, he manages to drag himself back up, but very slowly. Charlene. If I move here, uh -huh. I get advantage, right? Cool. I'm doing that, and I'm going to give him the old whack a -roo. That's Aang's move. Good thing you did that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's gone. What happened? So, Charlene, <clears throat> after uh, helping dispatch together, I right, slid past him and gave Tanker a wink and just swung her hammer around, swung her hammer around behind her, backhanded it, and smashed him into the wall. Right, you smash so hard that the hammer actually goes through the head. Your hammer bounces against the wall, making a like, bong, and the head explodes. It's pretty, pretty violent. It was loud. It was violent. That's what I did. Thank you. I will try not to scream while you're at your doctor's appointment. <laughs> so she has a digital appointment. Just reminded me, so I don't scream profanity while she's on with our family. <laughs> All right, uh, they're dead. They're all dead. All dead. right, good them bodies. Yeah, good old stacking bodies. All right, second bodies, looting bodies. Who's looting what? Where? I want the one who just killed. All right, Charlene, on that person, you find uh, uh, a. Sorry. It helps if I have everything pulled up, doesn't it? Right. Um, you find a sword of sharpness. All right, what else are we looking at, guys? Compared to the sword of dullness? <laughs> oh, do you not know, the sword of sharpness? Sorry. So, a sword of sharpness, if I can copy it in for you. So all the ninjas are dead? All the ninjas, ninjas are, are dead. I want to raid the ninjas. Alright, so he just checked this one. So which one are you going to check next? Bottom right, boy. Bottom right, you find 48 silver and a dagger of sharpness. A dagger of sharpness, you say? Would you say yes. it's a sharp dagger? I would say it's a sharp dagger. Even though you rolled so poorly, it was very obvious that it was there. Aang! I can't so give you nunchucks the sharpness. I'm sorry. This the sharpness? <laughs> uh, no, but you do find um, a a sash. A sash of sharpness? Yes, but it seems like a very weird sash. There's something weird about it. Special. Does it, does it look uh, real cool? It does look real cool. Aang puts a sash on. And suddenly you feel like your armor class went up by one. Oh, wow. It's a sash of protection. It is a sash of protection. Um, do you have the copy paste for the dagger of sharpness? It so the dagger is the same awesome. thing, just, just with dagger. Just dagger damage. That's 13. I need it. Come on. Come on, All right, tank on that guard, you find a mace. It's a mace, that's a plus one mace. All right, tank is taking that. So Boom. You should be able to find it in roll 20, but it gives you plus one to your attack and damage rolls. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Because I'm really generous today, I guess. <laughs> I wasn't planning on giving half these things out today, but you caught me <laughs> on a good day. Which is nice for us. Thank you. This is gonna punish us. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a rough road for you guys. So. It usually is. Yeah. Especially when you guys go charging into a 
an obviously unwinnable um, encounter with hundreds of guards and uh, gates in front of you and we almost lava built under the roof. <laughs> hey, we were doing okay. It seemed really winnable. <laughs> it seemed like the siege protected front gate was the best option. It did. We need to get inside. So instead of a 4d6, is it a 4d4 for the day? Yes. Okay. Then is it sword long sword or short sword? It's a short sword. No, oh, fuck that noise. Yay. Yay. Does mine also shine like a nice little thingy? It can, yes. Shines bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Okay. All right, Tancred's now stacking corpses again. Oh my god. Every <laughs> time. Enjoy stacking your corpses. Nice. As, you guys, oh, as, as, as the uh, dust and smoke from the explosion settle, you guys can smell the smells of the kitchen. Beautiful stew seems to be cooking. Uh, there's fresh loaves of bread that are being made for breakfast in the morning uh, in the oven up this way. Uh, just all the smells of different vegetables and cooked meats just wafting through the air. Well, Aang's going to sit down and just have himself a nice, quick snack. All right. Enjoy your snack. Uh, is the bread hot? Did I burn myself? Uh, Tancred, that is a door. It looks like a very large metal um, door that is securely padlocked. Mm -hmm. uh, Charlene, were you asking something? How hot is the bread hot? Did I burn myself with it? Because I'm grabbing that bread. With a con save like that, no, you were able to <laughs> struggle it for a minute. You're fine. Fuck you. Got so many snacks now. <laughs> All right. I'll uh, also go back and check this door in the back of the larder, see if it's open or unlo unlocked. It is. It's just a pair of double doors. And when you open it, uh, you see a whole bunch of foodstuffs. Uh, barrels holding things. Um, if you look very closely, you can see a uh, barrel of apples that each apple was hand placed by my wife. <laughs> <laughs> she actually designed this entire floor for you guys. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I will let her know. That's why it looks so much better than the ones that I've done. <laughs> I commissioned her to actually do some of the details for some of the other levels now. She's a lot better at this than I am. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, that's what you find in there. Okay. I want to open this door. All right. Opening that door, uh, there's a room with a well. Uh, it looks like a couple of bottles over here, uh, a couple of buckets. Is this the well you were talking about, Tancred? Brother, no, this one, I got it. <laughs> what? Tancred, it looks like a well-worn metal door, slightly rusted in some spots. It, as you knock on it, it's several inches thick, and it looks like it's heavy as all get out. There's a well up there. Don't you need water for something? Uh, do any of my keys unlock it? No. I will attempt to pick it. Okay. I mean... Uh, you're able to pick the lock, um, and as you swing the door open, it looks like there is just a, a ramp that kind of goes up and out. It looks like a, a wagon could back down it and bring supplies in. <laughs> I don't think there's a well here, Tancred. Uh, did anybody search this room? I forget. Which room? The room that uh, had the food stuff and the apples. Not yet. Charlene, you were in there. Did you search it while you were in there? I didn't know. I'll go in and check. Oh, great. <laughs> Do I find apples? You find apples and two potions of healing. Yay. I'll uh, take both and then I'll throw one at Jarlene. Appreciate it. Yeah. Keep it today. Um, 
And I'll kind of search this food area to see if there's any more items that are worth taking other than apples. Brother, sisters, please come. I literally said, asked you about that well, you fucker. <laughs> you find food stuff, Scrono. Okay, I'll just... I'll eat some meat as I walk over here. You might can get the reinforcement here. What? Oh, that's an interesting idea. Right. You're going Fred, like, to get reinforced. Goes the Elder symbol I he got. Our All right, baby so you, dragon. You throw the symbol of Eldath into the well. Yep. To make you a just, contact. You, you don't dip it. You just huck it. <laughs> dip it, I mean, Dip it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. Um, as you dip it into there, uh, you can see the water starts to swirl in a clockwise motion, and it gets lighter and lighter until you can actually see. Uh, a roof, or a, pardon me, a ceiling uh, in a different place. Um, and it looks like that's all you see right now is the ceiling of somewhere else, almost as if you're looking up from the floor. Can you hear me, Elvis brothers? Uh, yeah. Someone comes shuffling over and says, "Who, who are you?" This is Brother Tancred. I, I don't know, Brother Tancred. Wait, are you the one that that the shield maiden met? Yes, I'm the one who gave the orb to shield maiden. Oh, well, what what do you need? Why are you contacting us? It's the middle of the night. Uh, we need reinforcement. Our friend the Duchess is the one who created us orb. And Wait, so the... the the Duchess is working with the master. Yes, and she is about to kill the duke, brother. I, uh, I don't know what you want us to do. We're, we're at the temple of the split. And there be no reinforcements here. Uh, I'll see if I can muster anybody, but it'll take time. You must hurry at twelve. The ritual will be done. What ritual? You do not know, however. The ritual will finish, and most likely, you will die. I'll, I'll do what I can. Thank you for letting us know. Please hurry. Uh, I'll do what I can. May the Bahamut with you, brother. Ah, but, but we, we follow Elda, and the signal cuts off. Bye, well, lady. I got the sim. I got the amulet back. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You don't have to chuck it. You just have to. It has to be in the water. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Brother. Oh. That's where the old bread, brother. You're weird. Um, I'm gonna suggest with uh the time that we may have that we take a appropriate amount of rest and then continue forth, aka a good stopping point for the day. I think we could go back to the barracks, maybe. <clears throat> Seems like the safest. I mean, we can probably stay in the, one of the the storage area. Or we could stay in the barracks where, where there's, there's beds. beds. <laughs> and it has one exit. And you already stacked all the bodies, so... <laughs> Let the stacking hit the floor. Let the stacking yeah, hit the floor. Not... <laughs> Dead bodies. The we'll, put, we'll say he stacked all the bodies in the back. Mm -hmm. the, floor. the stacking hit the floor. Right, Jarlene, are you doing something special? No, just moving ourselves slowly. Okay, that's fine. I just want to make sure you weren't trying to look at anything. No, you can sneak off if you want. I don't give a damn. Yeah. I'm taking, taking Big Boy's bed. I'll just <laughs> back over. I earned it. All right. Charlene claimed the knight's room. What are the rest of you guys doing? Sleeping. Joel, just sleep. I sleep in the corner. I'll, I'll take first shift. All right. How long are you guys resting? How many bells do we have left? You you don't know. You don't know when she started the ritual. Can we survive with a short rest, or do what? what's the minimum time for a long rest? Long rest is at least four hours. That should be good enough. I think we can do a four-hour rest. It was three or four bells last time we chat, so yeah, it should be fine. Cobalt's when it starts. Just for the note. 
Yeah, so long rest, and then we'll prep ourselves at the bottom of the staircase afterwards. Okay. Long rest. That means... I have healed, brother. <laughs> okay. We'll see what happens uh, next week. On the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Be continued. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm running back over to the staircase. All right, guys. I'm at the staircase. I am the man. I have the plan. You are very special.